the evening. Evening. Oh, evening. Evening. <laughs> evening. Still oh, laughing about that joke he just done. <laughs> Sorry. It's still still lingering. <laughs> oh, that is, it was hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Charles. Sorry. Right. Good evening. I think, all. Right. One, though. I think we're in for a fun one. I hope so. Yes, I hope so. <laughs> um, I'm not too sure where Moggs is. I'm not too sure if he's missing in action. Did he send his um his apologies? I'm not too sure, to be honest. I remember. I, I'm sh- I was convinced he was coming on this one. I was sure he was on it. <laughs> mm. uh, that was right. But you know, you know now he's Lord Moggsy, so you, you you don't know where he is. He could be anywhere in the world. <laughs> Well, he could have got yeah, sponsored anyway. and he's been shipped off somewhere to Dubai mm-hmm. or anywhere. Tim Buckley. These influencers, these influencers, they get about, don't they? They don't just stay in the UK. Yeah. <laughs> uh, maybe, he's, maybe he's joined some other WhatsApp groups for influencers <laughs> and he's dumped us. I think he's too big for us. He'll, now, be, uh, he'll, be, he'll be crabbing in some crab pools in uh, Pembrokeshire. <laughs> hey, did you watch that video? I hope you did. <laughs> you know what? There was no, mate, there was no plan to make that video at all, as you can probably tell the way it's edited. I just got down there and I was just started rooting around with my little boy and my, and my wife. And I was like, these, these rock pools are just full of life. Absolutely. I'm glad it was, your little, I'm glad it was your little boy. It would be a bit wrong if it was somebody else's. <laughs> well, that's <laughs> it. Him on the beach. It wasn't Morecambe Bay. It was uh, Pembrokeshire. <laughs> Are you trying uh, to anyway, see, uh, We started already. Oh, no, no. You, start, you started it, so I said I'd join well, it. Yeah. Fair enough. But do you know what? Do you know what anyway. I was thinking? <laughs> Someone said to me as well in my, in my video comments, you know, I know obviously we, we're all about tropical salt water and, and reefs, but the cold, the cold water salt water areas as well, the UK, just they're also stunning. <clears throat> I know, um, you know, that fish palace, not fish that's palace, you, that's you, isn't it? <laughs> Fish locker. No, other way. Fish locker, way. yeah. Fish locker, that, yeah. That way. Fish locker. <laughs> uh, you know, Ross Ross put us on to him, didn't he? Ross said, yeah. watch Fish Locker on YouTube. And I'm I'm kind of addicted to that guy because he does rock pooling and he does all sorts, doesn't he? But, yeah, it's, it's really incredible. Really good. Really and, loved And it. he's done some snorkeling before mm. where we've seen some nems and some rats yeah. and some other absolutely stunning uh, yeah. sea, sea life. That you wouldn't see, like, torch, you got like one with torch corals on it and stuff like that, and you're like, Yeah, I never knew we had torch corals in the UK, and they're huge, aren't they? Can you remember, yeah, and the water's so clear, you can tell it's Cornwall mm. and not, um, <laughs> not London or uh, yeah. other parts of the country or Blackpool or whatever. It's the granite and stuff, it just uh, gives you really good water clarity. Yeah. It, it was, it yeah. was incredible. Now, I didn't know the names of most of the things that I was looking at. But then there was a board when I went back up to the car. There was like, you know, like a species information board. And that yeah. kind of helped really me out a little bit. Crab, crab, fish, seaweed. Yeah. Seaweed, more seaweed. <laughs> there must have been about 20 different species of seaweed. And I'm like, this is seaweed and that's seaweed. And that's seaweed. Wow. I didn't know the names of them. But I'd love, you know what, I'd love to live. I mean, some people <laughs> in the stream might actually live that close to a nice coast like that. I'd, lo- I'd just make content on it all the time. I'd love to live somewhere like that. Yeah. It's amazing. If I live somewhere that Cornwall, would definitely I'd, mm. I'd have my own boat. Go a turkey base is flowing around. Sorry, the turkey base. Well, what's um, one of them, eh, Paul? Can you tell? Can you update uh, us on what a turkey base is, Paul? That's for Christmas, isn't it? Once a year. <laughs> tell about using it every week. I use it once a year on the, the old boat. Only, the only global reefer who hasn't got a turkey base. Unbelievable. <laughs> Doesn't use a turkey you, base. Tom, what's that about? I don't know. I might, I might have to get one. Well, should I get one or not? I don't know. I thought you did so, get one in the end. I thought you gave in to peer pressure. No, I had one of those really long TMC ones, but it's not really a, a turkey based. No. Mm. Hasn't got much oomph in it, so I wouldn't really class yeah. that as a, a turkey based. In all fairness, it's the a bit. So it's like... nice to have a good, nice to have a good blast. Yeah. Do you use it for feeding, Tom? Because that's what professionals use it. No. For. No. <laughs> use it for getting algae off the rock at the minute. Oh, blast, blasting your rocks. That's what I use mine for. But mine's one of them really. You've got an extension one. Like, it's like two pieces. <laughs> no, you know, you know what I mean? Like two, yeah, two... go in a dark room. <laughs> no. But Jay, you don't need a long turkey baste with that hey, paint. You'd be surprised how deep this nano is, to be honest. It's, it's very. Is it, is it misleading? Yeah. The hammer I mean, end I'm, makes I'm nearly look eight about that high. I'm well, really the only person I know that feeds his fish with a nano via a ladder. <laughs> <laughs> a rope ladder yeah. comes down. You could use me for scale in the Red Sea adverts. They look massive compared to me. 
<laughs> I've got the food ready here, actually. I've got the food ready for tonight. Oh, Tonight's supper. I always got to feed him yeah. on the camera. Are you feeding yours tonight, Tom? I fed him a bit earlier. I've got, I've got a little bit left for a little oh, bit. Oh, yeah. Just a little treat. Looks like mm -hmm. a baby bottle. It's one of them TMC feed bottles. The great, the ah. brilliant, the good. Had that a few. Yeah, that a few years. Looks quite old. That bottle. Jesus, it looks older than him. Why has it got wrinkles like me? It's got a wrinkle. <laughs> <laughs> that's the stain down the front of it. That's what. Yeah, gives it away. it's really it's well used. Oh, I am. Oh, I am sorry. The fish died. <laughs> Take it away. Take it away. <laughs> He's using that god horrible feeding bottle again. <laughs> All those germs. Really wish he'd up his game. <laughs> Citric acid. <laughs> yeah, put it in dishwasher. Yeah. It doesn't anyway. hang around long enough in the water column to be even fussed about it. Doesn't. Things, no, it doesn't. Fade. No. Like it doesn't. Piranha, no. Yeah. Fair yeah. play. Anyway, it's good to see you because I've not seen you for a few weeks. It's nice of you to join us with your such a hectic schedule, you just getting <laughs> celebrity. Yeah. <laughs> it's just, yeah it's just Probably shoulders with Beyonce and whoever else. No, that, that, that is definitely that is definitely Moxie at the uh, at the Manchester Arena. That is definitely Moxie. I've just been on a couple of little holidays. That's all. As usual, I like it's holidays. Yeah, yeah I, live, I live for holidays. If I didn't have holidays, might as well. No, you're you're, an, you're an undercover student pretending to be a teacher. <laughs> Quite true. This is, is this another one of your theories again, Tom? Is it? Yeah. Definitely. Definitely. I hope my head teacher's not watching. He catch me out here. He get sacked it. tomorrow on Monday. Moonlighting. Yeah. <laughs> right. Shall we do some intros and then we'll um, we'll have a chat. Right. Nice We've to meet you, got... Jay. Anyway. Yeah. Thanks for joining us. Yeah. What's your name again? Cheers. Oh, I need to oh, get my beer on. on Miguel, here. you'll go steady, Paul. I know. His blood sugars are good today. That's a good day. They are at the moment. Yeah. Internet will, internet will be cutting out. It'll be me and you, Jeff, for half an hour well, last, I know, last yeah. week. I've only got two windows open, so it shouldn't happen. He says. Yeah, right, okay. I thought it was going to say it's two good. bars then on the actual uh, uh, router. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know what bars I got. But. <laughs> right. I mean, he okay, lives let's... basically in anyway, the capital. We digress. The... Sorry. He lives in the capital. He's got the worst internet. He's got worse internet than Rotherham and Derby. That's a bit bad, isn't it? I, I tell you what, the best reception. <laughs> the best reception I've had was when I was in that hotel room in Cardiff. <laughs> that was that brilliant. Was... That was, <laughs> that was that absolutely was superb. And it I was, was off a, wow. I was off a of four G. Oh no, five G yeah. in Cardiff. It was Round here, I have to get the coat hangers out to see what direction it is. Yeah, you see. The Welsh know how to do the internet, I'll tell you that. And rock oh. pools. And, and rock pools. <laughs> rock pools are good. I think they we'll stop good. there. Right. Chris <laughs> Allen, good evening to you. Uh, he's live. So, first in the house, name? MK of the Reefer, good evening to you. And we've got Tekkers. Good, nice. good, good evening to you, nice Tekkers. Hi, uh, Johnny Boy. Johnny Boy. Hey, John. John, John's in. Cotties of the Reef. Good evening nice to one, you. Evening. Thanks for your message early in the week, mate. Appreciate it. Hi, Hayley. Good evening to you. Hope you're well. Evening. Only fins. <laughs> nice, nice one, one James. Nice. Yeah. Hi, one. I'm Reef Hayley. How, How are, are you? you? Evening, Lee. Good. Nice one, mate. Nice one. That's good. Uh, good evening to you, Howard. Look forward to seeing you at uh, Love to Reef. Is Howard going to this one? He, he went is. to the first one. Went to the first one. I haven't caught up with Howard second. for ages. So it'd be good. Yeah. It'd be he only does odd numbers then, Howard. Does the first, the third, it'll come to the fifth. Possibly. Yeah, I hadn't thought of it in that way, Jay. No, I, I'm just overthinking but, it, really. I'm going to say, it, it could too be... too much time following people around you. Yeah. <laughs> one, three, five. <laughs> you might be overthinking it, but hey, Howard, if you, if you only do odds, then uh, you're in the right place. <laughs> wow. Wow, that's concerning. <laughs> it is actually some fun. All right, let's move on. Is that <laughs> you get your subs just by randomly abusing and hijacking and people? No, I, I was the top top guy. I met him at the first one. I can remember yeah, him being at the first one. He's a really nice It's not guy. just a random person that we're speaking to. That'll be later. Yeah, yeah. So I do know Howard. But a little yeah. bit. Yeah, the name badge on. That's how we knew him. Yeah. Oh, yeah, we had name badges on the first one, didn't we? I remember yeah. that. Yeah. And the second one we didn't because well was there so was but no one but no one bothered. Uh, like an AA oh, right, meeting. Okay. Yeah. 
<laughs> I think we should do that. We should get the name badges, but we have to write each other's name badge. Okay. Well, there's pens anyway. and paper there. So if you want to do it, Jaden, you, you can stand <laughs> in the yourself, door. Get yourself a little McDonald's one with the gold stars, Jay. <laughs> How many stars would you have, Jay? What, for Reef, then? <laughs> Two out of five, probably. Two out of five. Brown ones. Yeah. <laughs> Two out of five. I'll go with that. It's still early <laughs> days for me. It's still early days. Right. Maybe. Evening, Liam. Yeah, good evening to you. Evening, Liam. Liam, you're right, mate. Hey, me, hey, Liam, are you going to swap me out with a T-shirt? I'll pay for it, but I want one for uh, Love Tarif. If you can reach you? out. Man. Uh, I want one like this. Yeah, one but like why are you? About, is it about eight to ten years? <laughs> <laughs> it's a small... Oh, he's, got a, he's got again. <laughs> he's got again. It's me and you. You can still see him, look. He's, <laughs> he's right. he's he's not, not, you can hold a pose really well, can't you? And free. <laughs> That's it. His internet is shocking. Say it's London. It is. It yeah, is. I've asked him to. Um, I've asked him to make me a new uh, YouTube, like Marine Tube Friday night live stream. Oh, right. Cool. Because this one's nice, but it's just a bit weathered now on the badge and stuff. So I'd like a new one. Bit tight. New one. It's a bit tight. Does it look a bit tight? It probably is actually. I think this is. I think it's a large. I am a large actually in t-shirts generally. Get a get a wife beater. Get a vest. Can you imagine that? Street Where's vest. my chips? Watch the Friday night live stream with the street vest on. I'm sure everybody would be like, no, it's not for me. Thanks. Not for me. And also, I need to take your badge. Obviously, your badge isn't on this one. So I need, no, we love it. I'll be able to have it, isn't it? I know. So he's, uh, so he's salty he's said, oh, Yeah, to be fair, he mentioned it to me the other day, actually. He said I meant to send him the avatars. I completely forgot, to be fair. He's had a bit of a tough time, bless him, at the minute. <clears throat> uh, is he busy, is he? But he's, no, he's had a bit of a tough time with his tank, fighting algae, and then he's had a bit of issues with a bit of flatworm as well in his tank. Oh, I know, he's banging his that, head that again. That first year, mate, that first year, is just, it's not that enjoyable, is it, really? Let's be honest. No. You're no. just battling everything, and then you just you yeah. feel like you're going around in circles. But then, for one reason or another, after about a year... Well, mine was about 14 months, and then it just, like, yeah. settled. It just settled... And I could pretty much do most things without it, you know, causing swings or pests or whatever else. Well, um, I've, I've seen, I've, I'm seeing the first signs of sci uh, for Coraline algae today, which is nice. Have you? Did you buy a mm. snail with it on or did you buy it in a bottle? That's, what, I mean, what would you do? Paul? Is he, he's still gone. Oh, he's gone. He's, 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 he's just... he alive. Well, I think so. Do you know Jill's what? Just I think plug, Jill's just plugged him in. I think it's the. I think we run out of fifty p's. Turn the defib off or whatever you've got running in the background and just run the live stream instead. Yeah, I think so. I so it's know. twelve minutes past eight. Seems to be the problem. It's the same time last week. Was it? Yeah, I think so. Well, I don't mm. know. It feels the same. I was just going to ask you, Paul, just a random question out of the blue. Yeah. If you wanted to get some coralline algae into your tank, how would you do it? I would go to AAC and either buy a frag or I would buy a um, some cleanup crew. Uh, oh, that's a good yeah. idea. Good idea, that is. What did you yeah. do, Tom? What do you do? I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> you can buy it in a bottle, can't you? He, he, did he bought it in you a can bottle? Buy what? You can he buy it in a it. bottle. <laughs> He's bought it in a bottle, I think. <laughs> Yeah. Coraline, Coraline, what's it called? Coraline in a bottle, is that what it's called? Well, I, 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 I'm sure it's a different, it. brand, it's a different brand to it. I don't think it's called <laughs> Coraline in a bottle because that wouldn't really sell. No, so it's probably got no. some fancy damn name. Coraline Reef Juice. Something like that. <laughs> I don't the, know. I'm just see, to... Coraline I, Seed. Coraline Seed, yeah, that might be. <laughs> okay. I mean, obviously, I'll when have, you've I'll got have Coraline... You'll have, have, have to send me the link when you find it, Jay. One of the five signs of a healthy reef tank, Coraline. I've, I've made a video on that. You have, haven't you? Oh, yeah. What was, what was yeah. the other things? That, that was on the spot. What was the other four? Um, <laughs> Coraline, Coraline was one. Yeah, we've done that twice. That doesn't count as two, though. No, it isn't. No, it isn't. Uh, amphi amphiopods or copepods, like actively yeah. breeding. Yeah. Sponges, pineapple sponges. And I can't remember the other two. You'll have to tune into the video and watch the adverts. Um, look, honestly, uh, <laughs> what was the other ones? Um, sugar. 
No, it wasn't sugar. Uh, oh, yeah, no, it was carbon dosing. No, it wasn't that. It was Coraline <laughs> Amphipods. Does anyone know in the chat? Because Joe, don't Hundreds. Joe. Did yeah. you did you just copy it off the internet? No. What did I copy it? No, I didn't copy it. There was a video about two years ago that someone did, and I thought that sounds like a good idea. Let's do that. <laughs> so you did copy. Yeah, because yeah, I kind of did, but then I looked for them in my own tank. I looked for the five in my own tank, and I, I managed to find them when uh, I found the video. You've only got three now. That's why you can't remember the other two. Yeah. <laughs> two of them have gone. Um, yeah. This could be a long uh, night, couldn't it? Uh, yeah. Oh, so we'll come back to it, Jay. You're right. Moment's right. gone. Moment's passed. Two out. Two you know what? He's going to watch the video in the background. Watch the video. Watch the video. You, you can channels. monetize. Watch the video while we're doing the um, the check-ins. I can't do that. That's unprofessional. Anyway, there's five. There's five healthy signs. Cool. You've, you've, got, you've, got, got. you've got one of them now, Tom. <laughs> Caroline. Yeah. Thanks, mate. In a bottle. I've got sponges as well. Sponges, sponges as well. Lufa. Yeah. Amphipods? Mm -hmm. Lufa? Don't know. I don't think so. Not yet. No. Mm. Not yet. Oh, I, think, I think I thought of the other one. Yeah. And I'm not well, making it up. A live sand bed, I think it was. All right. Okay. <laughs> so just looking for things moving in your sand, basically, just in case. And I can't I like that. In the morning. <laughs> <laughs> I've got loads of them little spinniard, spinniard worm things that come out every now and again. That uh, I think every, I think everyone's got out there. You know them little little worms in a little case that you get. They're just like when you put your food in. Not like a feather duster, then. Is he? Yeah. Is he frozen again? No, I'm here. He's back. He's back. He's back. <laughs> um, yeah. Well, I don't know what's going on. Spinniard worms. <clears throat> Right, I'm going to carry anyway, on. Doing, anyway. Did you do yeah, the we'll intros say. or did you side trip? No, we just, you... we just wasted 20 minutes. It's all right. Okay, it's 20 all right. minutes in. It's been a while. We're, a just We're just bonding. <laughs> <laughs> right, let's whiz, let's whiz through this. So, Marek of the P, good evening to you. Nice one, Marek. Uh, Jarek, good evening to you. Reef216, hope you're well. Evening. Daryl, <laughs> Ali, I love that, um, that thumbnail. Mm. Very good. Hi, Stuart. Hi, Stuart. Mr. Carl, well, how are you well? Good evening. How's your new tank well? doing, Carl? How's your new tank doing? We've got a, a Is that a 10 litre? 10 litre yeah. Pico he's got. He's got yeah. some nice nice corals in there as well. Absolutely. Yeah. Hiya, Joe. Joe. Evening, Joe. Good to see you, Joe. <clears throat> Love to see you. Hiya, Darren. So um, for Love to Reef, there is a WhatsApp group for the Frag Swap, and Darren's been swapping like it's gone out of fashion. He's swapping wow. loads of stuff. I, I I'm not in that. The other day. I had to silence it. The other, you're not old enough. I had to silence it the other <laughs> day because I had like 200 messages pinging nonstop. I mean, I can remember last year I was in it and I did have to mute it because it was going nuts at the time. Yeah. But I, well, why you, am I not in this time? Then you left. How oh, did I leave? I didn't leave it. Is it the original you, one? Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, I left it. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want me to add? I thought you'd have a new one every year. No, because there's there's quite a few people in there that are going mm. to this year. So the palaver of closing that one down and starting a new one, yeah. oh. you might as well just start a new one. Oh, sorry, you might as well just carry on with the existing one. And I've added yeah. some people to it. Some people right. that haven't bought tickets, they've um, they've kind of left or been removed. So um, we're mm. we're good to go. So there's quite a lot of um, people swapping. There's quite a few. Actually, I don't know if they're in the chat. A few people giving away some SPS as well. Which is good mm -hmm. to see. So people are looking for their first mm -hmm. SPS, you will get some free SPS, I'm sure, mm -hmm. if you buy a ticket. Because um, last year there was people just brought frags along and just gave mm -hmm. them away, and just left them That's in the tank. Other people right. um, picked them up. Nice. So, Especially um, if your tank's like in its infancy and you just want to test something, you don't really want to be spending mm -hmm. any money, really, do you? Absolutely. A few little testers. Yeah. That's good. That's good. Really good. Have you got a big enough? Um, Tank, I know. Like last year, it was packed. I remember it being. It was. We uh, run out. So I'm looking <laughs> for two tanks this year. I can't use the one from A. I, so last year I had the acrylic one from Paul. Yeah, you did, he's yeah. using that. So I've got to. Uh, I've got to improvise. So I'm not going to buy a tank or anything like that. I'm looking at the moment about pr plastic containers. I might even uh, go Paul. for. Uh, you got. You can get what pl uh, plasters use. So you can get these kind of oh, buckets. Mixing, mixing buckets. Yeah. yeah. 
So I just got to say, get those, but then I've got to have a stand that's strong enough. So I've got an old um, tank in the shed, my original mm. tank still in the shed. I, might, I probably won't use a tank, but I might use the stand and then yeah. just get a bit of ply to put across the top of it and sit on there. So um, I just need to find another stand. So hopefully we'll have two three by two tanks. They'll be about yeah. a foot deep, fill them about six inches worth of water. They'll obviously yeah. be heated. There'll be lights over them as well. It's quite nice to look through the bags <clears> and the pots. People like to look through to see what's, see what's in them. See what's in that. Um, and Shamila, who was there last year, she's organizing. It's in the WhatsApp group. She's take, keeping a list of all of the um, oh, wow. swapping and stuff like that. Because last year, if you remember, the guy yeah. who, was all, who was doing that part dropped out the night before. So it was a bit disorganized. Yeah. But Shamila's doing it. And to be fair, Shamila helped last year. <laughs> so Shamila's um, organizing it, keeping a list and things like that. And then um, mm -hmm. that'd be good. So I think there's. Yeah. I think there's about 70 odd people in the group. Bringing calls. Good. I don't know about bringing calls, but about 70 people in the group. But um, oh. so there'll be a load of people bringing calls because there's been, as you say, there was 200 messages on there <clears throat> and a lot of people um, exchanging and a lot of people giving away, which is um, which is brilliant. I think people yeah. like Rich, because Rich has been there the last two years. He uh, he kind of has a, a carve up of calls and then he mm. brings loads along if people want them. So uh, there's some really nice people that go along and just give coals away, which is um, which is brilliant. And what I Good, is it? The kind of old yeah. school where people used to do that. People still do that today, and we discussed that, haven't we? But Reef is gold. People do it. Yeah, yeah absolutely. So um, it's brilliant. Christian's coming along. So he's bought a ticket. So Christian from Singlish is going to be there, but he's only there yeah. as a reefer. He's not selling any corals. Yeah, and he's yeah. been, so he's already swapping some corals of pieces that he wants that he's then going to swap with. Uh, there's no sales because the whole point is i mean i'm not making any money yeah. of it. all the surplus money goes to um, mind so and you know the vendors there have invested quite a bit of time in their own money so it's really those people in the mm. coal vendors there to earn the money because they've invested <laughs> and for us to really enjoy it and to to, to swap really it's fantastic it really is and if and like and sometimes you get to that stage where you've got like a monty or an sps and it's just growing too large into something else and you can just give it a little trim, and if you can help someone else out as well, absolutely. help your tank out and help somebody Definitely. else. It's all good, isn't Definitely. it? That's all what it's good. all about. And I saw, the, uh, I saw the plug on Fragbox as well. I, have, I, I didn't, I didn't know he was going to put it in there. It was in, the, it was in the hall. Was it in the hall or was it in the shop? In the hall. It was in the hall, but I don't think it was the main hall. It looked like a smaller one. It wasn't the main hall, I don't think. Right. And you're, you're on camera. You're talking about it. Oh, am I? I can't remember what yeah. hall I was in there. Don't so, pretend yeah, he's watched it 30 times already since it was published. <laughs> yeah. he, sent it to his, he sent it to his mum and said, look, mum, I'm, I'm on a big I, channel. Well, I, <laughs> I, I, well, I'm going to put her down on it. I would if I could speak to her. Oh, oh bloody hell. Oh, my Jay. God. <laughs> it's a tumbleweed. You can't do oh, that dear, to Jay. me. Oh, sorry, mate. It's all, no, no, it's all right. It's okay. It's, <laughs> it's bloody fine. Bloody hell. <laughs> You managed to yeah. turn a positive story then into something negative. I don't Jay, know. Jay, leave it. It's dead and buried. Dead and, dead and buried now. Come on. Move on. Yeah. Yeah. Well, <laughs> right. Should we say yeah, some more hellos? It's a brilliant bit of footage, anyway. And it's, anyway, it's, nice, it's nice that they shouted it out. Frag, it's nice that they shouted it out on Fragbox. Maybe you'll get some Canadian viewers over there or somewhere. I don't know. In the future. Who knows? Who knows? You never know. Right, we have still, we're have um, 25 minutes in and we still haven't said hello to everyone. <coughs> so uh, hopefully on the last leg on this one, Rigsy69, good evening to you. And uh, evening. Reef Trop as well. A nice, nice logo, liking that. Yeah. Right, who we got? Uh, Scott, evening, Scott. Nice evening. Man. Drippy, what's this? Evening bookworms and CJ has returned from his Mediterranean vacation in Pembrokeshire. <laughs> Congratulations on spending <laughs> ITP. <laughs> <laughs> Mate, I enjoyed the one that you were on. Anyway, that was good. That was a good one. Good to see him. Look forward yeah, to catching was, up. Is it Love Grief, I guess? Yeah. Well, I bloody hope so. He's badgered me virtually every oh, yeah. day for 52 weeks. <laughs> Trippy. Yeah, to be day. fair to him, yeah, to be fair to him, he's, book, he's booked us the uh, accommodation last night. Bless him. Yeah, for us coming down. And we're going to, yeah, we're meeting up for a meal, I think, on the night before, on the Friday, which is, Looking forward to that. A few beers should be good. That will be nice. That make a weekend of it. Good. Yeah, exactly. Good. Excellent. Not invited, Drippy though. No, he's booked it, but he's not invited. 
<laughs> nice one. He could go yeah. play in the ball pool with Jay. Who's that? He said Who's he could go me? play in the ball pool with you. Drippy. Oh, me and Drippy would love that, to be fair. We're about the same anyway. level. Of, we're about the same level of maturity. Moving on. Probably. Anyway, good evening to you, Matthew. You're in the right evening, place. Matthew. Are we That's still doing sure. welcomes? What's going we, on here? Get a grip. Well, I'm trying to. There's lots of welcomes. And also, I keep on, you know, deciding to leave the stream. It's a very polite community. This is. Corey's Reef, no Mogsy. Well, that's a very good question. Yeah, where I, is he? I would Shall say he's him? missing in action at the moment. Do you want to WhatsApp him, Jay? Tell me to ring him. I'll just ring him. To ring him, see who he is. He's probably loud, on the bus. Like loudspeaker. He's probably on the bus outside. Who's playing at the uh, at Manchester today, tonight? He's Wait usually a hanging around Can you just ring one person there? through this, or do you have to ring everybody? Call yeah. group. That's not the one, is it? No, you don't want to do that. No. Um, anyway, someone said Cardiff Prison. <laughs> it won't be far wrong. Is Mogsy on a night out with Sally? He, he could well be. He just he hasn't told us where he is, which is a bit annoying. That is uh, that is a long term viewer. That is. Yeah. Good evening, Sky Marine. Uh, Hi, Ian. Good evening to you. Evening. And Paul Davenport. <clears throat> good evening to you. <clears throat> Gills Primer, Corey's Reef. I think we said hello already. <clears throat> I think we are getting towards the end. There you go. There's a, I've got a sheet of Coraline from Christian, and it spreads like wildfire. pH is 100% key to Coraline growth. Mm, Coraline Alex. sheet. Not Even Alex. Not yeah. Hi, Alex. Not heard of that. I mean, when you scrape it off the back of the tank, it, I mean, it does come into little flakes, doesn't yeah. it? Like, like, a, like yeah, a ribbon. It does, yeah. 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 I think on that frag that you're getting off me, Tom, you've got some Coraline, I think. There we go. Oh, that's awfully nice of you. Does that put the price yeah. up? No, no, it's free to you, mate. I'm giving you it for free. If the frag's free, but the Coraline the is 20 quid. <laughs> <laughs> Just two I mean, words No, I'll do it. We'll do it £19. <laughs> that means it's cheaper than the bottle stuff that you cheated with. It's all in the extras. <laughs> <laughs> we right. are so, How is so Jay, Jay we've got a question. Are you still bringing me some Darren, TNT? Mate, I'll bring you some of the red TNT. Yeah, absolutely. I'll bring you a little frag of it. Of course I will, mate. Nice one. Because uh, I've, lo I've got loads. It's a bit big. It's getting a bit big at the back. That's why I'm bringing Tom, isn't it? I'm oh, is, that the, is that the picture you posted earlier on? Is that yeah, TNT? Yeah, and I asked if you yeah, wanted yeah, anything, yeah, yeah. and you, you just ignored me because I think you were busy. I was. I was out walking the dog. He was busy watching. He was busy watching himself on Fragbox for the thirty-first time. <laughs> no, thirty-third. Oh, so thirty-third. Sorry. All the freeze. <clears throat> right. Let's. Uh, so Reef King six liter. It's a nightmare to keep stable. Absolutely. Oh, I, I imagine it'd be even yeah, worse in the summer because the temperature would be like a fiddler's elbow, wouldn't it? That'd be mm. a tough one to keep um, at the right temperature. Six leaves, yeah. that hard work. And John, John left because there was too many messages. John, you, you you can always you can always put it on mute. Yeah, that's what I did for about three weeks. Yeah, um, and then you never came back. <laughs> well, there we go. Look, saw me on Fredbox channel. Yeah, looks I have to watch it. I have to watch it later on because I miss myself. <laughs> well, there we go. I was working till nine thirty. Uh, oh, is he? And yeah, on the buses. And unfortunately, obviously, he won't be on. He'll be Can on he not... next week. He's on next week. Oh, we're getting to hosting. Excellent. Yeah. <clears throat> That'd be good. We're I didn't know host. that. I thought it was on this week. I didn't think so. Did I? Well, there <clears throat> we go. <clears throat> there we go. Mr. Mogsy. Nyogsy, yeah. I call him now. Nyogsy. Is, is, it, is it Lord or Sir? I can't remember. Uh, Lord, I think. Yeah. Lord mm. Nyogsy. Yeah. Ni Nioski. Yeah. Some of that, anyway. <laughs> if you're not sure what we're on about, check out his latest video. Uh, is it his latest? Yeah. No, the one just before his latest. Yeah. About his new tank. His new Nios tank. Absolutely. <laughs> With all the trimmings. <laughs> yeah. All you're the making great news. You're making great news, reader, Jay. I wonder why I've never made it, eh? Well, it's got the auto key. <laughs> yeah. Got it there. I can see the chat. <laughs> anyway, uh, right, okay, let's move on. We're right, we're going. For, we've said hello. We're now Rumpy. going for. Nice hey, hi, Grumpy. Yeah. Evening. He was on. He was on the video with you as well. He was on the video. I oh, skipped that bit. The, the frag box video. Yeah, he was on there. He had. He had a different. He had. Um, 
a, fo- a London football team on there. Oh, you might, you might want to skip over, yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Uh, good evening to you, Rich. Roll on love to Rafe. Absolutely. Oh, mid afternoon here in Mexico. Oh, oh, side oh. with a beer. Very oh, nice. Oh, fantastic. Oh, well, thank you for watching. Yeah, definitely. Mate, thanks. Brilliant. That it's is doing properly. That is, that is amazing. <clears throat> absolutely. Absolutely. I'd love to love to Reef as well. Nice yeah. One. Good evening, Luke. Nice one. And mate. we've got Hi Lee Charterhouse sell Coraline sheets for four ninety nine. Hmm. Did you pay 20 mm. quid then? Did you pay 20 quid, Tom? How did much you did you there? pay, Tom? How much was it? <laughs> didn't pay anything, guys. You know that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. Uh, 499 got... seems so reasonable. I've got Price Coraline. Price it, Jay. Absolutely. I've got <laughs> Coraline peppered all over my glass. See, everybody's got loads they could just give you here, Tom. Yeah. Bring your yeah. Coraline down to love to read for Tom. And you'll love to. <laughs> And if yet, oh, I tell you, everyone yeah. takes some Coraline to love to read to swap <laughs> with Tom. I'll give it to Tom. Is he some silica, Tom? For, some, for some silicates for your sponges? <laughs> well, that's it. Actually, yeah. we come to the end yeah. of the chat. We should move on to silicate, shouldn't we? First of all, Joe, thank you very much for putting up. If you can yeah. hit the likes, that would be yeah. much appreciated. appreciated. And then thank reflection, you. auto point, correction, Sal. Hiya, and he bought a ticket for love to Rafe. Look forward to meeting you on the 18th of Definitely. May. Yeah. Are we sold out? No. No, not yet. No, we're halfway through. We've got a few tickets to um to sell. Mm. It's been it's been a bit of a challenge with um, as you know, I've got I can't remember if you know this or not, Jay. So someone tried to hack my Facebook account. So Facebook then disabled my account. So I had yeah. no Facebook account. I then had to start new accounts, which has caused problems. And I'm virtually every day I'm getting peppered with people trying to uh, hack, hack the account and fraudulent oh. emails oh, and all kind of stuff. God. And you, and what they do, wow. right? So just so I digress, I get a message that says you shouldn't uh, you shouldn't be posting this. I'm going to report yeah. you to to Facebook is an infringement. Blah blah blah. And you think the first time you think, what have I done? And then two hours later, you get a message saying, we're from Facebook. We're going to disable your account because of infringement. And you have to send the form. And the form you have to send when you go for it, so put some false details yeah. in, they don't ask for your password. So they want to obviously hijack your account. But I'm getting yeah, peppered yeah. with these all the time. There's probably at least one or two a day. Um, and then you get all these kind of abuses. So as a, as a Facebook user, I've, I've been all right. I haven't even been trolled or anything. But as a... Facebook kind of I've set up as a business account, so I've done some ads. You yeah, get trolled yeah. and you get abused and you get all kinds of stuff. So what wow. I do, I just hide the comment and then give them some back. Yeah. Because it's enough. a bit of um you That's kind of crazy. Bit of like a relief. It's just to, nuts. Someone's trying to bring it down. It's not so, how proper business how proper businesses cope on places like Facebook? Because they must be getting attempted all the time to be hacked and everything yeah. else. It's just nuts. It's just mad. Um, but mm. Facebook is just rubbish. So once Love to Read finishes, I will probably come off Facebook. Completely, yeah. Yeah, I don't really need it, to be honest. Um, oh, no. I find other ways. I don't really use it that much. There's some groups I'm on. I'm an admin on one group. So whether I just stand there just purely for that. But the rest of it is just tripe. So, um, yeah. And when I tried to get my account reversed with Facebook, couldn't contact them. There was an email address. I emailed them all the time and they haven't responded. So... It's um that's made it a bit like a bit like you on the group chat, Jay, during the week. Mate, believe it or not, and I know you're gonna laugh, right? I have to work really hard on the week. It's like crazy. <laughs> <laughs> no. Sorry, <laughs> seriously. <laughs> I know you guys work hard, right? No, 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 no. We understand. We understand. we understand you're not allowed your phone in class. <laughs> exactly, exactly. <laughs> Honestly, I do work hard. I mean, I, I just like I can't do two things at once either. So I go a bit quiet. I know during the week I do, but I apologise. Oh, yes. I know you two. You yeah, but you two chat in the day, and I, I I can't chat in the day in my job. You two chat all the time. Yeah, that. You can text us when you're in. You can text us when you're in detention. Yeah, <laughs> during all the break, all the breaks you have, don't you? You have in the morning, and then you have playtime yeah. in the morning. You have lunch, and then you have playtime in the afternoon, and then how you finish. Cups, how, how many cups of tea do you have at school? 
constant. I have a flask. I have a flask. Have, so I've always got a cup of a flask. Yeah. Always he got gets a cup his, of tea. He gets his handkerchief out. Yeah. He puts his sandwiches it's on first, it. It's the first week back as well, so I've always got to do a bit more work in the first week back because I've done nothing for two weeks. So I have to pick it up again. But yeah. How many weeks? How many weeks holiday a year do you actually get? <clears throat> He's lost. Be honest. <clears throat> Why do you want to know? You get, six week, you get six week holiday, which we know, 13, all know. 13 in total. 13. 13. 13 holidays. 13 weeks holiday a year. Plus 13 teacher, weeks holidays. Plus teacher wow. training. <clears throat> plus, plus your inset days, because you've got to have a few of them. Just to break up the busy. The most the most we work in a, in a block, not that anybody's interested, is seven weeks. That's the biggest block you have. Seven weeks straight, which is pretty tough going, to be fair. Anybody who's, I mean, John's been with his grandkids today. Anybody who's been with kids all day long, it's stressful, I'll tell you. To be fair, I couldn't be a teacher. I just couldn't. Job. When you see, I know you on, on the internet, you only see the worst scenarios, what happens in class yeah. and stuff like that, but I just couldn't do it. Amazing. It's an amazing job. It is amazing, but it's just tiring because kids have got so much energy. They run rings around you, Tom, I tell you. So get, how many days a year do you get off then? Like 65? <laughs> yeah, you still work. I don't work weekends either, Tom, so you can add them on. Yeah. Or bank holidays. Got a bank holiday coming up. I don't work that either. Wow. And plus the inset day. That's oh, it. my it, it, It's God. like a ticker tape. Just, you know, the clock's just going, just spinning rounds. Isn't wow. It? Yeah, on holidays. Just keep giving this job. I won't be the only teacher, so can you stick up for me? The only teacher in the chat. I, I think wow. I think I think Jay the the world the, the whole society blames schools for what? for stuff well, that's going on when it yeah, should be parents. Thirteen that's weeks holiday plus bank holidays. <laughs> that seems insane. <laughs> I'm glad Ross weeks, is on it. I'm glad weeks? Ross is on here because he at the moment his like views on education are quite strong. So I'm glad he's quite. Quite. <laughs> know, yeah. Militant. Wow. 13 she, weeks holiday plus she bank holidays in days. It'd be a big shake-up. I know that. It'd be, be a, a big shake-up. But anyway. <laughs> it's all right. 70, 73. Oh, look, he's still working it out. That, it's like nearly knocking on. That, you're knocking nearly 80 days a year out, you aren't you? Stop and use your toast account as well if you want. If you're struggling that wow. <laughs> he's going to work it out. How many, how many bank holidays in a year? So I reckon you only work. Seventy percent, seventy percent of the year. Mm. The other thirty percent, you're on holiday. Was well, there how many working yeah. days in a year? Is there? Because you got the weekends, haven't you? It's got fifty-two times ten. I'm really, sorry, we're That's hundred and four days. <laughs> right. Somebody who's good at maths, just put it in the chat and save his load of time. Far too many days, anyway. Many days. That's <laughs> ridiculous. That is ridiculous. The teacher yeah. training days are quite funny because you have like six weeks off, and then you got to have like two teacher training days stuck on the end, which is basically. Is that just to remind things. you what you're meant to do? Yeah, my name is Mister. <laughs> this is how you write you the board. The you forget. Uh, yeah, you finish it three. Oh you don't work a full day. Oh my days! Right, you've got no idea. Weeks Liam, Liam's got no idea. Fucking rubbish. Jay works. That is <laughs> unreal. How many days you'll get off a year? That is right. unreal. Anyway, sorry, Paul. No, on. that's okay. We, I think we've got past the thirteen weeks. Right. Maybe now I've been fully bashed on this chat. <laughs> uh, there we go then. What sort of websites have you been on, Paul? Ones I probably shouldn't be on. <laughs> yeah. Right, mo moving on. We're talking about silicates, aluminium. Have you sorted out aluminium yet, Tom? I saw a video yeah. on Cooper's all. <laughs> I didn't know you had an aluminium problem. I know you had a silicate issue. Where were you last week, Paul? Come on. I don't know. I, I, why, why, I did I have an why did I have an aluminium problem? John knows more than you do. Probably most people out. do, Come to on. be fair. Probably dropped out. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, because what you was dosing. Yeah. It was, it's the AL99, it's the silica yes. absorber and the phosphate and barium and whatever else it does, but it also, it's a, it's aluminium oxide. Yeah. Uh, answer to your question, John, I've done, I'm doing massive water changes at the minute. So, as, as, as you know, to get rid of silica, so I'm not really worried about it. I'll worry about it when um, the silicates are in check. And if it's still out of what it should be, then I'll run, I'll run a polyfilter or. Whatever I need to run, but at the minute I'm not too worried. But again, we're going to talk about this in a minute. It depends on what your ICP recommends is acceptable and not acceptable. That is true. But in terms of silicates, I know you posted that you you changed all the membranes, didn't you? Change the membranes. We changed the pre yeah. We changed the pre filters. 
the membranes um, and we added the polishing station on the end, which I didn't need to necessarily do, I suppose. Um, and then we bought the, uh, Jay would love this. You could have another week off working out how to do this silica test. Um, <laughs> Oh, is it that tricky, is it? I, I said to you, if I send you my water... Well, it, dep it depends. If you finish it at 3 o'clock, you'd have to come back the following day to finish it off, Jay. Um, but no, it, does, it, it, takes yeah. a while. it takes a while. It just takes about half an hour, to be fair. Yeah, altogether. Well, that's worse than the night. You know, the original nitrate one. That was 27 minutes, that, weren't it? You took? That was 28 yeah. no, minutes. Yeah, prob yeah, probably similar then. Probably, I might be exaggerating a bit. Wow. Yeah, probably similar. Yeah. You have, to, you, you, have to, you have to wait until so there's three there's three stages to it. It's three reagents and A, B, and C basically. And you have to wait from mem again from memory <laughs> did it the other day. You have to wait until one of them is completely dissolved. So again, it depends on you know how much you want to rush it, but you can take five minutes shaking it so it's dissolved, and then you have to let it stand for a further 10 minutes before you then do part B and then wait and then part yeah. C and then wait. So yeah, it's about 20, 25 minutes. Yeah, not 30 minutes, about 25 minutes. Long enough, anyway. And it was £4 the test, isn't it? We yeah, it's £4 a test. test. I know, you told me that, and I was like, can I just send you a sample of water and you can test mine? And you, <laughs> like, you told me where to go, and I was like, what? I'm like, mate, help me out here. Yeah. He's going to give you some Coraline algae. What's that? You're going to give him some Coraline algae. That's worth I it. I could send it? you some Coraline algae and a water sample. You could take the Coraline yeah. out, test me water, and then just tell me what it is over this chat. I tell you what, you can you can take a water sample down to Love to Reef. Yeah, take the water sample, some coralline algae. That's his payment. Oh yeah, I'll just, I'll just have a little, I'll have me a little stall. Tom's silicate test. Tom's, Tom's, Tom's ICP. Test. Tom's ICP. There we go. Tom's silicate oh. test. No, well, I'm not, there's no way I'm buying a test that costs hundred quid and then four pound a test. There's absolutely no way. What, she's going to bag you one of mine? Are you going to swap me one for your TNT and Acropora? Exactly, yeah. I'll give you a bit of coal. You can test me water for me. I do. Jay, <laughs> Jay we'll, have, we'll have a table set up at Love to Reef. Tom's ICP. Yeah. He can yeah. stand and give you no. silica. Half no. hour for one <laughs> test, which means he can do about, no. uh, do about 12 Absolutely tests. Not. 12 Absolutely tests. Not. <laughs> can do 12 tests in a day. <laughs> no. It's horrendous. But anyway, but it's... Get there but early, is, but... you can do a few more. Get there at five in the morning, you might be able to squeeze a few more. I can queue, queue around off. the block. You finished yet? I mean, I don't think you need that test kit by the sounds of, like, I mean, you got, like, ten stage. Like, if any silicate manages to make it through ten stages <laughs> of it's 11, it, the it? RO filter or whatever it is. Three, six, is... seven, eight. I said 11. Nine. It's 11, yeah. It's an 11 yeah. stage. Yeah, it doesn't yes. need to be. It doesn't need to be. It's only because I needed it. It's only because I needed it. It's only because I wanted the silicate remover on it and it came yeah. as a three stage. So otherwise, I'd have yeah. bought it on its own. Anyway. That must take ages for the water. It's Christian the, the, the other day. And fair play to, I spoke to Christian the other day. And one of the things that he did say to me, which was hats off to him, was invest. And this goes for anybody, not obviously not just me, but what he does is he invests in a, a really good um, go on, carbon filter as his first stage. Um, yeah. Not your normal, not your normal ten-inch ones that you get, that your pre-filters that are, you know you just throw away after a few months. Like I'm talking a serious bit of kit, so you have to invest a, a few quid in them. But what was basically, and it com makes complete sense, is if you get the if you get a good quality carbon filter or a chloramine filter, same thing pretty much. It takes the majority of the donkey work out of the rest of your RO machine. So your membranes and your DR, fill, your DR resins last so much longer. Each of these mm. membranes last him years, really? which I was shocked at. Yeah, because he gets, because he spends, he invests his money on, on basically the, the first stage is his, is his main stage, I suppose, if you want. Yeah. So it, the majority of the donkey work, and then it doesn't, it's not relied upon by everything else in the, in the, in the you know, in, in the process. Whereas if you, mm. if your first stage is average or poor, you're then passing the the, the the labor or the responsibility to everybody else, aren't you? Up the, up the mm. upstream in yeah. terms of all your other filters. So I've never really thought about it before. So it comes in and goes through the membrane first and then goes through. No, it goes through three, it'll go through your pre filters first, go then it'll go through your membrane and then it'll go through a DI. That's the normal route. <clears throat> DI last, DI is your polishing. Yeah. So I never really thought about how it works. Pre-fillers pre -fill, pre get the majority of the crud out. Yeah, and your membranes get whatever's left, and then your DI polishes it. That's in theory, the, the, you know, 
Yeah. That's three Whatever. stages, but that, that's three stages of a normal six stage or five stage. Oh, yeah, so I've got a five stage. And I must say, whenever my TDS goes above zero, if I change my DI, then it'll go to zero again. Because mm. I keep yeah, but the... Well, but, 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 you, but you're sorry, but your DI shouldn't be the one that's making it go to zero. It should be everything else, taking the donkey work out, and that should just complement it, if that makes any right. sense. It that does make the, sense. That should be like the, like the sugar on the top, the basically, the polishing it. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Didn't someone say that like silicates don't show on TDS anyway? Correct. No, they don't. That's what I said the last week. Yeah, I thought yeah. so. Yeah. I, I knew I heard it yeah. from some somebody. Yeah, obviously yeah. it's from the video last week. Yeah, I didn't. Yeah. I didn't know that. I didn't know that. To be fair. No, I didn't. I didn't, and I kind of should have done. <laughs> to be fair, it's probably but, a lot yeah. of stuff that's not measured yeah. and going yeah. to the tanks. It's just probably I've, very um, very small. So I've always had make... silicates on my ICPs, though. I've always had a little bit of silicates in there. Yeah, but that's a, good, that's a good thing. Good. It's a good thing, yeah, exactly. Yeah. I've got 800. I, I had 800, which was way too much. Yeah. Mm. Anyway. I'm, as I said before, I'm dosing silicates into this. It's yeah. Now I think it's gone too high because I'm getting a few. Uh, the, the chalice there is beginning to strip a little bit around the edges. You can see the white. But at yeah. a certain level, the cobbles were absolutely loving it. The coloration... Um, and that's the only thing I was really changing. I wasn't doing, I'm still not doing water changes, but you're not. No, I, and I was just dosing um, silicates. Yeah, yeah. Because with dinos, you're not supposed to do water changes. So yeah. my, um, yeah, my numbers, are, numbers are high, but the, the tank is now getting at the stage where some of the corals are looking a bit dis distressed, but I don't yeah. want to take them out. Because one thing I don't know, and I don't know if anyone knows in the chat, if I take out the corals and that's got dinos on it, if I put that into the other tank, does that cause a problem for that tank? I know it depends on sometimes the the chemistry in the tank and the balance in the tank and everything else. But mm. what I don't want to do is transfer coals from here to the other tanks and cause a problem. So if I'm just mature, if it's a mature if it's a mature mature, it's, 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 it should be right, right, shouldn't mature it? Mature system should be fine. Yeah. Yeah. I wouldn't do it personally, but no, I know what you mean. There's it, in theory it should be okay, but I just don't why, want to put any additional take a risk, risk into the into the tank. The most of the coral was all right. The, the chalice is stripping a little bit. As long as I've got the core, the heart of it okay, I'll just cut it all back and it'll grow again mm. anyway, nice and easily. So because coral um, chalice is like that, they they can strip. But as long as you've got a couple of eyes on it left, they'll just come back as good as gold in a little while. The issue that I had though, to bear in mind, a lot of the algae nuisance algae I've been fighting with them for the last month or so was the trace elements. We went through the floor. Still being consumed. Mm. Yeah. So if you've got a coral, and I haven't got corals, is what I'm saying. I've got like, three or four frags. If yeah. you've got corals, you might want to bear that in mind. If you had to do an ICP recently, you might be surprised to see certain trace elements have been uh, absorbed by uh, everything that you don't want to be absorbing it. Yeah, I've done ICP on this a couple of times so far, really purely from the silicates perspective, and also mm. to understand the true level of phosphate as well, because it's pretty good mm. on, on on that side, the tests. So um, that's the main two reasons for for doing it. And also, I was I was looking at my Hannah salinity check. I know Jay, you love yours, but I was getting some weird yeah. readings on it. So I, when I did the ICP, the salinity was okay. So I kind of sigh of relief on that because. You do have to be quite careful, I find, with the the, the Hannah one. But you have to – I was actually calibrating it every two weeks. But then I do test three need, tanks. You need to throw it in the bin. Yeah, to be honest, I think Tom might be right. I know, I know you said I love it. And I kind of did. But I don't – I did I don't, when it first came out. I don't trust it now. I calibrate yeah. mine every time I use it. So I go through a sachet every time I use it. Yeah. And do you know why as well? Have you, have you noticed with the battery on it? Like, no matter when you switch it on, the battery life, like, sometimes mine will come up and say, like, 46% battery. Then I'll switch it off and switch it on again. It goes 66% battery. And they're like, 90% battery. And I'm like, you don't even know mm. how much battery power is in this thing. Never mind, like, the salinity of the of the water. And I had, um, so my, my dunk, I, I swear by my Duncan Coral, right? It's just incredible thing. And it was closed up. It was closed up for about a week. And I'm like, what the hell's going on here? I can't understand what's going on. So testing, testing, testing. Anyway, salinity was up uh, to 1.028. So it had gone three points above where it should have been. Well, because wow. of that, because of that pen. Because of the pen. So no, now I don't trust it. I've got uh, I've got the old one. I've got the old D and D, you know, like yeah. Real old school one. Yeah, I mean, they've been around for donkey's years. And, you know, if you yeah. speak to LFS, they swear by those and all the Hannahs yeah. and everything else, they'll still use that as their 
as their backup because they're trial and tested. So that's why I think the ICP is pretty good for, yeah. for that, for the salinity, but also those two other measurements are the ones I'm really interested in. And also about manganese, because it's hard to, to measure. And I have got goniopora, and we know about manganese and how that helps. So it's, it's really yeah. the, on this one, the silicates, the salinity, the phosphate, uh, and the manganese, which yeah. are... Um, that's which are the ones I'm really looking at. That reef elements one, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Should come on to mouse. Right, so I'll just do a couple bits on the see chat we've got, and then we'll move on to the topic of the week. Ooh. I looked at what ICP stood for, like did a bit of homework. Couldn't tell you what it is now. <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever seen what it is? Ridiculous. So oh, very, yeah. Uh, right. It's a couple of comments there around. They the, the microbiome and also established tank, as you said, Tom, it should outcompete. Yeah, awesome. It's just a case of whether you want to take that risk. It may be a zero risk because, as you yeah. say, it's, it exists in every tank. It's just a case it needs the right environment for it to uh, to flourish. Grump is spot on, though. Absolutely. Uh, right, let's have a look. Yeah, it shouldn't be a problem unless you have low nutrients. No, I've got yeah. high nutrients in all the time, all the tanks. I must admit, I've now taken all three tanks to have higher. Um, higher nutrients and the coral seem to love it you've got to worry a little bit about nutrient um nuisance algae and stuff like that so i have to bring them down a little bit but i don't worry about what they are anymore which is good thanks for your messages uh, tree trap as well he's sending me a few messages cheers mate i appreciate that thank you cool right we are up to date so i'm now going to mm. share powerpoint so, time jay yeah you oh no i've got another one Oh, we've got, I'll tell you what, Tom has day, done an absolute know. super one. Da -da! Wow, Tom's PowerPoint. Which is the thumbnail on that. <laughs> these, these are gonna, to be fair, the standard's getting better. Here. That was quite professional. Yeah. What do you mean it looks kind of professional? Yeah, it looks good. I'm impressed here. I'm impressed, mate. I mean, I don't know if they actually do that when they test the water. I don't think they do, do they? Don't Probably not, no. You get, you get the, you get the, uh, the gist of it, Jay, don't yeah, you? Yeah, absolutely. Okay. I mean, what would yeah, you give yeah, me? What would you give me, Jay? So far, am I getting a B plus, B minus, C? I, I, I think with the graphics and the layout, I think that's A minus easily. That is A minus. Too, okay. Not, a minus. Too, not too cluttered. Nice, clean picture. It's good. Okay. Thank you. Thanks, sir. <laughs> absolutely. <laughs> hey, what do I know? Who cares? <laughs> right. So let's let's dive oh, straight no. in. Pardon the pun. So there's five on the yeah. screen there. I know yeah. I have used three out of the five. Jay, I know you used Triton and Tom, you've used Modern Reef. And... I've used Modern Reef, Triton and Reef Elements. I've never used the Reef Factory or the Fauna. Yeah. You know. So I think if I just come up from the top, my experience of them, Triton I've used for a number of years, but I stopped recently. They were yeah. really reliable. I, I always send mine by... Um, Royal Mail next day delivery mm. by one o'clock because I just yeah. want it to, to get there. And Triton send on the Monday, usually get the results on a Wednesday. Uh, Reef Elements send it on the Monday. I've had a couple of tests from them. I had the results one at 1.30 in the afternoon the next day, the other one by the end of the day. The very first one I sent to them, their machine broke. But to be fair mm. to them, they then yeah. sent me a free test. So fair that's play, good. things break. So yeah, I from that. Good. And yeah, that is good. I was picking, I was pulling my hair out because the two times I've done refactory, they send them overseas and there's a delay in, in that. So in terms of speed, mm. I would say try and good, reef elements, top draw, refactory. If I want it quick, I wouldn't use refactory. The thing is, like you do an ICP test, obviously the main reason is because you've got a problem and you want to know what the problem is as soon as possible. And the minute you do a water change, obviously you're changing your parameters. So it becomes null and void anyway, it? doesn't it? So like, I mean, how was it, was it yours or was it Tom's? It was taking like three, four weeks. Was that yours, Paul? Well, I, I had a problem with refactory that I, I, I had to chase him. I know Tom, Oh, that was, was it, the yeah. experience of uh, was it Modern Reef? Yeah, I mean, Modern Reef all took ages, but to be fair to them, <clears throat> I think a lot of that was because of when I sent it in terms of bank holidays, but it does go to Germany. Yeah. I mean, if they're not coming back within a week 
pretty pointless if you ask me. You need you need to know within a week, don't you? Really? Right. Am I being harsh there or something? I don't know. But no, I, 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 I deliberately send mine. mine. And I have to, you know, I think it's five quid mm. to send it through the post, which mm. when you spend it and you can see the prices on there, the postage adds another, I don't know, 15, 20% to the cost. Yeah. As far as I'm concerned, I want to know it's got there. Because yeah. if I just send it by first class, I don't know if it's got there mm. or not, you know? Yeah. Is it, are they slow? Mm. Are they good? All that kind of. Then I think, I think Jay's just did nail on head for me by saying you send it off when you've got a problem. Is that right? Is that the right, you know, I'm just going to say, yeah. is that the right time to be set? Is that the right way to use an ICP? No, but, but it is definitely used as a diagnostic tool, isn't it? Oh, like, definitely not. I'm, yeah. mate, I'm not knocking it. I'm not knocking it. I'm just saying yeah. that if, yeah. and this takes me to my next point, if if they were more affordable for yeah. reefers, I think they'd be used more often. Yeah. And I think mm. it sounds a little bit contradict. well, not contradictive, but... Um, could there be an argument that they're priced it a certain way so that people don't do them all the time? And because people don't do the do them all the time, they're therefore susceptible to more issues. So therefore they have to go out and buy more products to fill, you know, mm. the tills of manufacturers' pockets. I don't know. Because if they were a lot cheaper, mm. then everybody did them more often, then your water would be better and you won't buy to buy all these other products. Yeah. That's, a dub, that's a double-edged sword, <laughs> isn't it? Because you can say absolutely <laughs> it's a it's a way of putting your hands in your pocket. But on the flip side, how many people leave the hobby within the first 12 months because they do yeah. have problems? And so I think you're right. They make more money out of it. There's problems. But then, the, as we know, the turnover of reefers is really high. And, yeah. I, you know, I think it was... was if, it, you could uh, do an, if you could do an ICP, so for like, just say, hypothetically, 10, 15 quid, I think the majority of reefers would do one every, every week, two weeks, at max, you know, two weeks, mm. maybe. Therefore, yeah. they wouldn't they wouldn't need to go out and buy all these other bottles and potions and snake oils to keep mm. the, the the tanks in check. That is all I'm saying. I think you're right, Tom. I think they are a little bit overpriced, but uh, and people would yeah do them more frequently if they were like like you say. Your well, let's be honest. Average the average reefer, and I've been and, I, and I've been in this situation before. Your tank looks okay. Doesn't look amazing. It looks okay. You've got a yeah. little bit of pocket money on a Saturday, so you've got 40, 50, whatever pounds that you've managed to scrape together for a weekend. You go in your other fest for a water change or some food or whatever. Do you buy that frag that's saying buy me, or do you go and buy an ICP because <laughs> you know that's the right thing to do? Fair point. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Point. And that's what yeah. I just think. And until that frag that says buy me says I'm dead, you then then decide that you're going to go and spend a further 30, 40 pounds on an ICP, is what I'm <laughs> saying. The thing is with me though, like this is this is why I fall a bit shocked. Like if I ever think there's a problem, I'll just do a water change anyway. Like I'll just do one. I'll yeah, do a 15, yeah, 20, no, 30 percent like water change before I even do, send off for an ICP test. But if if you're doing that every week, the water change, then actually yeah. any issues will be diluted, won't they? Yeah, and they like may, dilution, they may, dilution, they may yeah, still dilution. show that rear their head, but it'll take a lot longer. And you'd have to be more extreme for it to have the impact because you've got yeah. that constant dilution. And that's why yeah. on one of the tanks, I want I, I love the what I did like about the BRS videos is about the auto water changes, setting up two doses, doing a continuous, was it one percent a day or whatever else, because that's nice and easy to do. Yeah. And it idea. will help dilute any issues that yeah. you or, or prevent them building up in the short term anyway, won't they? May not stop that's it long term. It's all about the dilution, isn't it? That's what you've got to do when you've got an issue. Dilution yeah. presents solution. Yes. Oh, did you just come up with that? No, I've heard it from someone before. I'm not going to take <laughs> it. So I've robbed the video and you've robbed the phrase. Nice one. We're all just robbing stuff. Look, you know what I'm saying, though? If it was more affordable, I think more people would do it more frequently and therefore you'd have more successful tanks. And unfortunately, well, not unfortunately, but certain brands wouldn't, you know, uh, yeah. benefit from everybody having to go out because let's be honest you go with ICP says you need to dose this you need to dose that you need to buy this you need to buy that I know it's like you know it, it's it's got it's it, yeah and I think you know if you're doing them more often and you didn't have as many peaks and troughs with your system yeah then yeah. you wouldn't need to buy those so therefore you wouldn't be putting the, the revenue into that yeah you know that stream because mm. they do they anyway. do say you need to do s X amount of strong, uh, strontium, or you need to do iodine, or you need to do this, and all of a sudden you end up with loads of individual bottles of of potions. Don't well, not potions, aren't they? But in terms of elements yeah. that you need to top up with, um, yeah. and that's where the challenge is because they will always. Then you've got, to, and then you have to make a call on it, don't you? 
which we'll come on yeah. to in a moment in the range around, okay, is it extreme or is it within the ranges, which mm, a water exactly. change might help? Are you replenishing some of those minor? Or if you yeah. use things like all for reef, that should help in terms of the balance of those. They may not be bang on in the middle of the ranges, but things like all for reef, I think, do help with that unless mm -hmm. you've got a, a certain, a large number of certain corals. Yeah. Take out some, some elements more than others, which some, some do obviously on, on yeah, that. Yeah. Um, and I think Tom, you, I hadn't really thought about doing the RO test and I know you did the, you chose the, um, modern reef one. So I couldn't get reef, those elements but, at the time. Yeah. Yeah. And then what I'd missed you earlier this week, didn't it? Because the reef's elements have now, I think they're launching next week. The ICP, which is the one in the middle at the top of the page, the yeah. RO plus the salt as yeah. well. So they only had the one to the left, which is 25 quid, and the one to the right, which is 35 quid, which is the advance. And now they're launching the um the, the middle one. So I would definitely do an RO test. I only need to do it on one of the tanks, because to your point, I don't know what's going into the tank that may be causing a problem long term, because it's really small, but over a period of years. Yeah might cause a um uh, cause a problem and i have my tanks usually for a long long time so mm. you know, that small incremental problem then blows up and you think well something's just happening isn't it it's build up over years isn't it if you don't if you're not doing icps and you know you haven't you're not going to have a silica tester you're not going to know yeah so i so i found on i mean that's how i found it's about 300 on this tank on the gnome and the other tanks, it's a, it's in the range of 50, 100. I'm good with that. 50, 100, yeah. 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 Which is a nice yeah, one yeah. To, um, to, to, to be in. So definitely I'm going to do an RO one as a um, as a next test. And, and I think they, the prices are very similar because they have to compete with one another, don't they? Yeah. So there is a similarity. Yeah. I think there's quite mm -hmm. a big difference, and we'll come on to it, between the the standard, which is twenty five ninety nine, and the advanced, because some of your, yeah. what I would call the basic elements are not. So alkalinity is not. Yeah, it's not on part that, of the it? basic test. You yeah. have to pay the advance, certainly on reefs elements. I think on no, not modern reef that's included in that one, isn't it? Uh, reef factory, it's not included. No. Triton, I can't remember. So, I as far as I'm concerned, alkalinity is a, is a core measurement, yeah. Um, but it's not on there unless you want to buy the advanced one. Mm. Um, but I don't think you know when you buy an also when you buy an ICP, do you look to see what's on there? I didn't look to see what it tested and what it didn't. I just bought it. A bit naive on my part, probably. Um, I, when I first bought the Triton one, I didn't look. I just, like you say, Paul, I just picked it up and bought it. Yeah. Then I realised that there is actually two, like there is two for Triton. So I have bought the N-Doc one as well before, which is pretty yeah, good. Yeah, I, I bought the N-Doc one when it first came out, and I must admit, I didn't understand it. And there was very little online about it. Um, it's phosphates and nitrates, that one, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, it's how you how you measure it and what does it mean and then what you have to do on the back of it. But, it, but to be fair, it only been out about three months and there was very little information about it. Oh. I think yeah. a lot. Well, more you, you send it off, don't you? Like you like you do with your own. Yeah, that, that's what I did when I had it. Yeah. Right. Let's go through some comments and then we'll. Wouldn't be, we'll what, sorry, wouldn't it be good though if somebody just came up with an ICP for with like literally like cheapest chip? No, like a really like a like a Tesco value ICP, and it only tested. I don't know, let's just say 10 parameters, but you could choose which 10 you wanted it to test for that fixed price and sent it off. That'd pick be quite good. Pick a mix ICP. That'd be good. I'm just hoping that you buy all the testers and I can just send you some water. That's what I'm hoping. <laughs> yeah, Tom's ICP, there we go. Tom's yeah. ICP. Because yeah. you must be nearly there. You must nearly have all the testers, so I'll just send it to you. It's going to be how much you. that cost me? Four quid in postage. He's such a good friend, isn't he? <laughs> he is, yeah, yeah. I chance Jay like, double though because it's him. They're like, Jay, there's so much iron in your tank, you need to get rid of it completely. <laughs> Something like that. It's one oh, okay. Right, let's go through some comments and then we'll flip some pages and look at some of the uh the detail. Right. Reef elements ICP is my go-to. Always send special mm. delivery pre one o'clock, always have results, but not later than six PM. Quickest I've had is 23 hours after going to the post office. Good that. That yeah, really it's good, good that. Really I know, good. Um, I know Paul on uh, not you Paul the, the famous one at AAC. Um, he Eels. he was he was talking about ICPs on on the frag box video, and he was kind of endorsing the reefs elements one. He said kind of he uses that one all the time. Uh, it's very reliable, and he kind of really sung the praises of reefs elements as well. So 
Mm. Yeah, Go, goes with Chris as well, what he was saying. Absolutely. Mm. Uh, Darren said Triton taking a biscuit. Now, I've been speaking to Darren because Triton have had a problem with their machine recently. Yeah. So that's why mm. there's a delay. I think there was a message yesterday saying that it's Back not up. working. Is this uh, the one that's in like Sunderland or the one that's in Germany? Uh, Triton is UK, so I think UK. it's that in Surrey. Surrey, I, I thought it was whether... northeast. Uh, it's uh, Aquarium uh, connections, isn't it? Connections, yeah, which are based Surrey. Oh, ones. oh yeah. is it? Okay, I thought yeah. for some reason I thought it was northeast. No, I don't think so. But you're a geography teacher. No good with uh, compass anyway. directions. Uh, fauna for me, yeah. I've heard some good things about fauna yeah. for me. Uh, well, I don't think I've ever seen that one on the shelf to be fair. Yeah, I think oh, she can't reach. <laughs> it's a top shelf, top, one. It's top top shelf, shelf one. one, is it? It's that good, it needs to be at the top shelf. <laughs> Absolutely. Oh, <laughs> only use these elements can't fault their turnaround time. Absolutely, well, I've got one in here still. Reese elements one. Got it on standby. Okay. Is that the, oh, adva is that the, no. is that the advanced one or the, um, the uh, normal one? I think Jay? it's the base. I don't know. Let's have a look. It is the base. I think that's the basic one, isn't it? It would say if it wasn't. It says reef elements. Yeah. I think that's the salt basic water. one. Yeah. Uh, that's how long I've had it. It's gonna. It's twenty five ninety nine. Oh no, that's what it is now, isn't it? Oh, sorry. Twenty five ninety nine. Well, that was seamless. It doesn't, oh, even say, it doesn't even say what it tests. Look at that. Full of information. Yeah, it's to save money. There's no labels. Well, I know, but at least tell me what it tests. You know what I mean? <clears throat> I got I got this one anyway when I went to AAC. When I oh, bought you had it. When You've I had bought that the a manganese. long time. Never used. You've had that nearly a year. Yeah, well, Paul, so I bought the manganese for my gunners, and Paul yeah. went, don't be an idiot. Make sure when you dose it, you do some ICP tests. Yeah, so you've been an idiot. So you bought one and didn't it, use it. So I haven't used it yet. Tell you what, Jay, what you, what you need to do, Jay, do that test over the weekend. Send it on, uh, on I don't know, post it tomorrow because you can't do it on a school day, can you? Yeah, no, but I can't. Post it, post it tomorrow. They'll get it on a Monday and then you can have yeah. the result, results on a Tuesday. And next Friday, we can talk about the results. Yeah, do it. Post Come the results, that. Jay. I'm happy to do that, yeah. Uh, the thing is, with, I'm, like, I'm with Triton, so all my like tracking's with Triton, though. That's right. Sounds like you're making excuses, Jay. Just send you off tomorrow. Right, I'll do. I'll do that. I'll promise to do it. My manganese might be three million or something at PPM because I've never used it, and Paul told me to. Paul told me to test it, but anyway, I'll do it. I'll do it for Sunday, awesome. and I'll tell you on Friday. That'll be really exciting, won't it? Yeah. Cool. Cool. Right, don't, so manganese I... don't manganese participate. participate. I think it yeah, does. Yeah, really, over a really quickly. Level. Yeah, really. You go then. Don't need to worry. Anyway, yeah, Casey no, won't be too high. No. But yeah, it won't. It won't. Uh, I tr I only trust Oceano ICP. It goes to Austria, Ooh. I believe, and get it back within a week. They also have an ICP MS if you need more accuracy. Oh. Didn't we talk about them in terms of BRS TV? We're talking about you know when they did their uh, fifteen tanks and they set them up and they were looking at the biome. And they was throwing all dinos in and, and about copepods and everything else. Didn't they mm. use Oceano? Or was that a completely different company? I can't remember. I, I can't remember. I've heard that. a few people use it, but I don't hear it. Yeah. I don't hear the name mentioned much these days. No, I haven't either. Yeah, yeah maybe just not be, in uh, this country. Mind you, bit. they did reach out to me. They wanted to go to come to Love to Reef, but all right, it's, there, there's no room. No room at the inn. Oh wow. Which is a bit of a shame. Turning but people away. I've got no room, yeah. I've had Next year when it's at the NEC in Birmingham, oh. it'll be all right. <laughs> Thank you for that. Oh, oh, dear. There's plenty of room at the NEC in Birmingham. So yeah. it'll be all right then. Good. When, it, when it's 2,000 people. I'll take that advice under advisement. Thank it's you. Nice that, it's nice that uh, you've got lots of businesses wanting to represent at their show. It's good. It is. Yeah, it's really good. Yeah, it's good. Really good. It is good. Yeah. Absolutely. Uh, one of the lads did Zellemans wow. test. 35 quid, 24 hour turnaround. Can't beat that. Hats off. A Trevi month this week. One a modern reef test, so that makes it a bit cheaper. Absolutely. 
I do it every three months so that you have quarterly recordings of exactly how your tank is. Yeah, and do you Great. use the do you use the same company every time? Because I must admit, I was using Triton. I think I switched to Reeves Elements. I'll probably stick with Reeves Elements to get that consistency. Because I think that's what yeah. you want consistency over a period of time of how your tank's doing. It's a bit like your test kits, isn't it? You have the same brand yeah. kit. And then when you change, it can go all over the shop for a little bit. Well, the one thing I couldn't find when I was putting this together, and this, I don't know whether, it, it, like I say, I'm just not down with the, with the times, but I couldn't find the Triton that do an RO. And I could have sworn they did back in the day, but they clearly don't because everybody else does one apart from them. I have never, so I've been doing ICP probably, probably not as long as I've been in the hobby. So maybe seven, eight years. I can't <laughs> yeah. remember ever having the RO. So it might have been they did yeah. a different, uh, maybe mm. a more expensive one, but I've never. Just try with the first one ones one. that came. They were the, they were the trendsetters when it first started. Yeah, they were. Yeah, mm. and they just seem to have unfortunately been left behind by everybody. Um, as a brand, in terms of brands concerned, because everybody else is doing it. And due to my recent experiences, or not so great experiences with silin with uh, silicates, sorry, it's uh, definitely something you should be able to test for. As somebody mm. who's got loads of money, done took a took a water sample and sent it to two or three of these and see what it says. I just see if there's any variation. I, I think there'll be variation. I think, yeah, I, really think they, I think there will. Be, because be even, even though it's even though it's more accurate, there's still going to yeah. be deltas on that, isn't there? You're still going to have a slight differences in approaches that will yeah. change yeah. it. So I don't think you would have the same yeah. from three different machines, even if it was three I different know. machines of the same company. Mm. Would True. it be Come slightly there. out? Because unless they've if they've cal you got calibration, was it done on the same? day was the calibration yeah. good enough and as your point tom it's about human error as well because they're they're really expensive kit and i think is it reef polo he's got a machine yeah but he polo has, reef. He doesn't use polo reef sorry polo yeah. reef he's got a machine but he hasn't used it because he didn't have anyone qualified enough to do it now that was when he first set up the tank so i don't know if he uses i mean let's face it all that money he spends he might as well have an icp mm. and do it himself yeah. yeah. Um, so you do need to have someone who knows what they're doing. Yeah. But, mm -hmm. Be interesting. But that's yeah. why I'm that's why I'm stuck with Triton because I know their machineries measured my water at a certain kind of parameters. Yeah. So then flipping to reef elements, obviously there might be some variations just with their testing, their approach to testing. They're, they're, than, I'd be surprised. The thing, the thing, but the thing that I found with when I was putting this information together the other day mm. was it. Even though these are like the big boys in terms of testing, it still reminds me of five people in a shop giving you five different different bits of information in terms of how you should run your tank. As that yeah. That sounds. yeah, it is. <laughs> in, yeah, it in is. terms of range and parameters. <clears throat> so what I'll do, I'm just going to go yeah. through the comments and then we will go and look at some, to your point, Tom, some of those ranges within that. Uh, yeah. So John's talking about on Reef Dudes Wednesday night with Hayley and Lee, they were discussing IPCP. Yeah. Uh, but oh, that's my mm. thoughts. Get a good baseline. Um, that's the that's the textbook, isn't it? Doing yeah, doing a yeah, test every it. every quarter, every three months. Um, yeah, but then, and then back to, well, yeah, most coral farms. I know AAC and others do IC. I think, I think yeah. um, Christian does it quite often. It makes sense. So they've got tens of thousands of pounds invested yeah. in in that, and they want to catch it. Yeah, before. I think it depends on what you're keeping as well. I think a mixed reef LPS yeah. is more forgiving. So yeah, every three months. Thing is, if, if if it sticks, I think you probably could do with doing it monthly, personally. Wow. And then, like, go back to what you're saying. That is costly, Jesus. Every month, that is costly. Yeah. yeah well, that's, and that's why I just think you should be. There should be an ICP that maybe can you can just buy a cheap, cheap one that tests everything that you can't buy a test kit for. Mm. To an extent, you could say, well, I'm actually paying for something that I'm already testing myself, and then if I'm not going to be accurate testing it, then why have I bought the test? So yeah. if you test it yourself and do it two or three times and be happy with that range, then why then pay for another test to tell you it's in that range that you already knew it was in? Why not just buy an yeah. ICP or another test that does everything that you can't buy a test for, yeah. if that makes yeah. any sense? And, and as you get into the minor elements, a bit like the silicates, and I've said this before, I had the Red Sea one that does the potassium, the iodine and all that. Oh, my God. Yeah. Talk about mm. open to user error with me. Yeah. With slapdash where you have to use filter paper and you have to pour the water in this and you have to do that. I mean, it, you know, that's quite a task to get an accurate reading mm. when you've got to do all of that. So you're thinking, 
whilst you just do an ICP. But you're right. Yeah. I'm talking about alkalinity and actually would you want an ICP on that? If you're testing that every week, you should be in a book. Mm. But, yeah. Uh, okay, so that was Very good. Pretty, but you will know exactly what you need to add to your tank. Absolutely. Uh, water change is key. Most reefers don't do ICP. Yeah. Yeah. Not sure we need every element. That is probably mm. true as well, yeah. Yeah. Depends on, your, depends on your corals, doesn't it, to what, what elements you need eleva elevated and which you need present. Yeah. And also I, the coloration, because there is certain, coloration, yeah, different certain um, minor elements that will bring out the yellows or those yeah. kind of colours. And I know people play with those those kind of minor elements to try and get those colours to um, to pop. So, you know, let's face yeah. it, yellow is probably the hardest colour to keep, I think, in a reef tank, because quite mm. often it will go to green, won't it? If it doesn't rare, have the yeah. right the right elements or the right nutrients, then they do, and that's why people buy coals in a an NFS. They come over, they've been in the water, and they'll change colour, won't they? And some of that is mm. because of the parameters that you've got in your tank and the elements. Yeah. Uh, the purpose like of, of having a max nano J big water change or a couple <laughs> big water change means no reason for an ICP. Such a dream. Yes. Such a dream. Yeah, because for us, it's just like half a bucket or a bucket. Yeah, and obviously for Tom, it's it's a big different, but I uh, you just it's, it's cheap, so easy. It? If you've got an issue, or my corals look a bit grumpy, the first thing I do is a water change rather than ICP. I'll just do right. Okay, yeah, the only look definitely, I do. Yeah, I do the same. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just think it's uh, it fixes it fixes my tank so many times when there's a like I don't know the, the fun gear plate's a bit closed up or whatever, and I'll do a little ten percent, fifteen percent water change, and that'll be out again, and I'm like, oh, happy days. It's Mm. I think I think you could also I, th I think you should also bear in mind it depends on what salt you're using as well. If you stick to the same brand, yeah, and use the same every every time you do a water change, you'll you'll find that there will be a there will be um, mm. differences in terms of certain trace elements and minor trace elements that 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 salt doesn't probably have as much mm. of that your tank probably wants. So you'll need to supplement that. And I think the only way you will know what it needs to be supplemented by is by doing an ICP. That's mm. a good point, actually. That's a very good point. Yeah, because they're not um, all identical. Are they salt mixes. No, they're very, exactly. they're very different. To be fair. Yeah. Mm. Uh, they need to get on the same horse. Recommendations to ideal levels. Who do you believe, Triton, Zenement, or Modern? But as you say, Tom, that's no different to an LFS. You go, you know, do you run your alkalinity at seven? Do you run exactly. your alkalinity that's at eight point four? Do exactly at nine? I mean, that's saying. a that's a wildly different out some of these, recommendation. Some of some of these ranges that we're going to go through in a minute are a little, we're a little bit concerning. <laughs> There's one yeah. brand that stands out to the against the others in terms of I question it, but anyway, mm -hmm. we'll, we'll get there. Can, sure. can we do? I know obviously on a poll, you can't, I think it's only four you can do out of five, but can we do like just to see what everyone's go to is in, in the community, what, what people are using? Yes, not what they have used, but what they is their preferred option out of the. Yeah, so what's your yeah, what's your preferred ICP? Yeah. yeah. Um, and then how often? That could be a different yeah, poll. I can I can, I can do that. So what we'll do, if I have of interest. I'm gonna move on to the next slide. Tom, if you can talk yeah. to that, I need to go into oh. YouTube to set oh. up in the studio. Yeah. To um to do that. So right, next slide. Mm. Like that picture, Jay. I do that. We're that's going, we're going, we're going there the... on as we're going there on as honeymoon, me and you. Is that the Maldives, or is that the Maldives, or is that the Barrier Reef? It's great Barrier Reef, mate. Great Barrier. Reef. We're going on a man, we're going on a Monday. We'll go. We'll go snorkeling. That would be a good uh, a good trip. That would. I want to go to the Gold Coast. Good, I'd, love I'd love to go to the Gold Coast, yeah. yeah. In Queensland. Um. So this is what what. A standard we just ICP picked, yeah we, we no we no it isn't we just picked uh 10 uh 10 yeah i think 10 uh elements that we, we, we were to talk about because there's quite a lot mm. of them were some significant variation from one brand to another in terms of the yeah. icp yeah um in what the recommended levels were um yeah and some are obviously well they're all important but some are more important than others should i say so yeah these are the ones we're going to talk about. What do you look at when you mm. get an I when you send an ICP off? Anything in particular? Um, what are you looking? What's the one that you're coming? To what's be honest, the one that mate, you're... a lot of a lot of them I don't really know 
what they do. I'm not that much of a scientist to know what they actually do to your corals. Right, okay. um, I, I tend to, obviously, I look at the, the foundation elements, calcium, magnesium, alkalinity. Um, yeah. I look at, I look at um, any trace manganese. metals. Manganese. Yeah. Manganese in yeah. particular. Yeah. Iodine, yeah. which even though I dose iodine, I've like, I've, it never like registers still. I don't know what's going on because I, I don't, unless yeah. it just gets taken up. It never registers, mate, ever, when I ever do one. Even though I dose a mil every week, roughly, still never registers. But uh, things like, I know I've heard about strontium being really positive for uh, coral health and stuff, but I don't really know what it yeah. does. Potassium, I don't know much about. Cobalt, mate, I don't know anything about those, really. So, yeah, just the main ones, really. I'm, I I just I look at the thermometers like like most people probably, and if it's in the green, I'm like happy days, and then if it's mm. in the orange or red, then I'll I'll have a little look. But I've only ever had silicates in the kind of orange and red area, and I've had wow. iodine <clears throat> outside outside. Iodine used to be well, it's always outside the tolerance. It's always low for me, um, and the others have always been like where they should have been, Spot on. green zones. So, yeah, so I've just done I mean, a poll. It says, so what is your go-to ICP? And I've got Triton, Reefs Elements, Modern Reef, and Other. Because I can only do four. Yeah. I can't do I can't yeah. do a whole shopping list um, of them. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I don't know much about the other ones, mate. Unless I mean, I don't know if you can tell me about them as well, but like the, the ones in the left hand side after magnesium, I don't really know anything about them. Potassium, strontium. <laughs> Uh, cobalt. I don't really look at them. I don't really know what they do. Tom, have we got descriptions of those later on? Because we have got some. Yeah, we have got. I was going to say, we've got. Where do I start? I don't know. I'm not a reef scientist with most of them, but there's a few that play with colour. A few that. I mean, strontium definitely helps with the skeletal growth of your of the coral from memory. Yeah. Strontium is definitely to do with with the growth it's of the coral. Strontium. There uh, you go. Yeah, skeletal. Yeah. So this, wow, so, this, this, you know, this, this so this slide basically has. You got the obviously the name you've got strontium used to coat yeah. the skeleton in order to to regulate growth in certain areas, and then when you do for those who haven't done ICP, it will have a range, and then it will have where your measurement is, and then it has a scale of green in the middle, and it usually goes amber outside and then red. Yeah, like a traffic so, line. Yeah, so if you look at strontium there, you've got a range here of eight and a half, mm. so six and a half, which is from the marin. And then it yeah. goes right up to 13.39 with Modern Reef. So Modern Reef has probably the widest range. And then yep. you've got some consistency, actually. You've got reef elements, Reef Factory, oh, and Triton. Yeah. And you'll find this across quite a few of them. So look at look at potassium there. You've got Modern Reef, again, 423 to 490. But then it goes as low yeah. as 380. And, and you see, as we go through these, there is a range now. You know, is that inconsistent? They're, pr they're probably the midpoint, and most of these are very similar, aren't they? And if you're around yeah. the midpoint, you're going to be green, regardless of which one of these five that you do. It's just around the edges that you've got slight um, slight differences. So if we go back to, we've got calcium there, um, and you've got triton that says 520, and you've got mm. these elements 550, but then you've got kind of fauna uh, marine will say 450 is the is the top of that range. Mm. It's good to have a range, at least you're not chain you're not chasing a particular point, are you? Modern yeah. reef is very different to the rest. It <laughs> seems to stand out as a bit of an anomaly for most of them. Are they yeah, sixteen hundred on magnesium? Yeah. I mean yeah. 1450. You mm. quite often you see that as probably the, the highest yeah. level, but you've got sixteen hundred there. Across two of them. This is mate, Tom. This is brilliant, by the way. Honest to God, this is ace. Like mm -hmm. so, so good. I've never seen it laid out. I didn't even know. I'm learning loads. Like I never learn usually that much in our live streams. To be fair, but this one. <laughs> <laughs> no, genuinely, genuinely, like this. This is <laughs> a bit more professional for you, Jay. A bit more organised. This is a bit like a. It's like a class, isn't it? This has gone, gone up. This has gone up since I was. We've gone, we've, we've gone up. We've gone up yeah. in the world, have we? It's hard been away. It's gone I up. In, I tell you what. To be fair, we went onto a spreadsheet, weren't it? Because you put yours on the spreadsheet. I put mine on the spreadsheet. And when it's on the yeah, spreadsheet, you thought, can't see wood can you? Just, I just thought it'd just be a lot better for viewers to do it yeah. in this sort of oh, way, brilliant. format. 
I mean, this yeah. must be whilst I'm working or something. You're doing all this. I don't know. It was in yeah, the yeah, evening, yeah, 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 yeah. Of course it was. Okay. Of course it was. Awesome. No, it's really good. Really good. <laughs> That's there for calcium and magnesium, and then the other. You guess what the coral is, Jay, on the first slide and the second yeah. slide. In your point. Oh, that one there. Uh, is that? Did that's Digian? Is that five? No. Five Digian? No. no, not no. not that one. No, the red one. That one. That. There. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, that's five five Digi. Yeah. What's the other one? Go on the other one. What the first one? Uh, it's, it's not fair. To be fair, it's not fair of me to off, to ask that one because it's hard because it's zoomed in. To be fair. Is it not some sort of can... ten, That's a bit annoyed. No, 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 no. You're right. With it's a, it's a Montipora. Oh, is it uh, a Montipora? Yeah. So that's a Monte. Okay. Monty, and mm -hmm. then you've got GSP. Anyway, then? sorry, we digress. Yeah, GSP. Yeah. yeah. Um, yeah. and so yeah, if we move on, we've got here chromium and cobalt. Chromium, what's that? Essential for what? Trace so it's a central trace element, but it is toxic in high concentrations. Chromium accumulates in the aquarium and then has a toxic effect in nature. Chromium is enriched by some corals in the skeleton. In the yeah. coral it is used to form enzymes. For the fat metabolism in the tissue cells. Well, based so on that description, I think Triton have got it right. You don't want much of that in there, do you? No, I think you need a little bit. I think that's the difference. That's the you thing that I, you'll notice. You need some. Uh, a yeah. tiny bit. Mm -hmm. But it's so like a lot of these things, isn't it? We say about metals being bad, but actually yeah. metals are good. Some, some metals. Semi -copper, semi copper. Yeah. 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 It's just have not. It's just having extremes, isn't it? That's why like I don't get about stuff. it. Like people sink ships deliberately to. Well, not deliberately, but like they'll right, use okay. shipwrecks for, for establishing coral reefs on and stuff like that. They're all made of metal, aren't they? And they're like the corals will grow on the surface of them. And it's just like obviously you need some of these trace metals in your water a little bit. Yeah, and of course, then you've got the current that just takes it away, doesn't it? Yeah, it's corrosion. Yeah. Yeah. The volume of water as well. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Right. Just going to see if there's what kind of comments we've got and then we'll go on to uh, the rest. Right. So let's pick up where I left off. We've got there. Heard from a solid source. One of the English ICP companies can get 200 plus ICPs a day. Oh, That's, that, yeah. I mean, I don't know how long it yeah. takes them to do an ICP. So I know the kit's really expensive, but I, I don't know whether it's it, you can turn them over really. If you're getting 200 a day, you should be able yeah. to do that in a day or you're getting a well, year. That's, that's where Jay works in his 14 day, 14 weeks off a year. <laughs> like Santa's no little helper, but for ICP world. No chance, mate. Not no. with 200 a day coming in. I, my head would okay. fall off. Jesus, can you imagine that? <laughs> my head would fully fall off with yeah. 200 a day. Yeah, fall off. And a fair point there, salinity is the most important. So for you me, even, even though I'm using HANA refractometer, it's it helps on that just to baseline to make sure I'm not all over the shop with the salinity. That is true. So then it is number one. <laughs> See, if Down. you notice those two on the chromium and the cobalt, both Triton saying zero for both of them. Yeah. Did I get away with, did I get away with that? Saying salinity is number one with, with Tom, surely. I just ignored you probably. Because none, oh, none, none of these IPs, ICP tests. Uh, IPCs. I, ICP, PC, ICPs measure pH, do they? They do. They do. do. They do. do. do they? Yeah. yeah. It's Which not. One? It's not standard. I think it's on the advanced one, isn't it? Oh. Modern Reef do it. Yeah, and the. It's not that important, though, is it? Otherwise, it's not the basic one. It's what PA? Never heard of it, mate. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm joking, mate. I'm just trying to wind you up. But I didn't um, know. They, I honestly didn't know they did pH. To be fair. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Fauna Murray give you a full test breakdown, but more importantly, tell you what you need to correct. I think they all do. Certainly they do on, on the others that I've used. Uh, and that's where I think your point coming early on, Tom, about, you know, you have to kind of bowl a different... Um, one, thing and... that, one thing that Liam was telling me last night on the phone when I was chatting to him last night was I'm sure he was on about Fauna and it's, it's either something that they do or it's something that they're going to start doing and that's a forecast. So when you do an ICP... Okay. And somebody made a comment, so because I haven't done a phone one, and I am I'm strongly thinking of switching to it from the from the positive views that I've I've heard, is that they will give you a forecast. So they will say to you, your your levels are X, Y, and Z in certain in certain trace elements. If you don't correct this, you are then going to increase your chance of getting cyano or this, I that, really? and the other. So it's almost 
I suppose, a bit of scaremongering to an extent, but also telling you if you don't correct that level, what damage and detrimental effect that can have on your reef, which I think is quite good as well for people. So they yeah. actually understand how it's going to affect the tank. Absolutely. Right, there's quite a few comments, which is great. I'm 25 minutes behind, so I'm just going to kind of go through them and then we'll come right, back. Yeah, could, you the, could you read the call bot once you've done that as well? Because I can't really read it. Yeah, I will do. Um, use Fauna. Nios has an ICP. Never heard of that, Carl. Uh, Jane, yeah, yeah, I bet Mogs is over that one. Mogs is definitely Oh, he'll get, he'll get, he'll get, he'll uh, get freebies. He'll, he'll be getting that one. He'll have the hat, the shirt, the ICP. <laughs> Clipboard. <laughs> the clipboard. Uh, and in the, and in the top pocket. <laughs> and I, is, is he coming to Love to Read? I, I don't know, is the answer to that one. I don't know either. He's so secretive at the moment. What's he's he doing? Being a secret screw. I think since he got him with Nios, that's it. He's just, not, he's just not talking to us, is he? He'll, he'll you have to, have to, call, you have to, call, his, have to call, his agent, call his agent, Jay. I know. Let's go for that's his agent. Good point. Yeah, the Nios office. He'll be on 100 pounds for like appearance or something, aren't they? Yeah. That's why he's not on because he didn't, didn't give him the money, the loose change. <laughs> oh dear. Uh, right, okay, let's go down. When Modern Reef first came out, I did one and the reef elements at the same time. To be honest, there was not much in difference in them. Well, yeah. That's interesting. Yeah. Yeah. All depends on the technician doing the test. I think that's a very yeah. fair comment. Uh, hi, Haley. Good to see you. Crazy shifts. Hello, Haley. Good to see you. Hello. Uh, right if you if you the moonshiners method you need to do one on each month for like the first six months uh, never don't need an icp for a softy tank yet makes makes sense uh, right, okay just going down <laughs> Carl, I never had a tank run, running long enough to do an ICP. <laughs> <laughs> a very fair observation there, Carl. Fair play to you there. That's that's fun. Yeah. <laughs> uh, for torches, manganese, iodine, and molly, molly bidium. Molly bidium. Yeah, yeah. Molly bidium. yeah. Fair enough. Yeah. yeah. Molybdenum. What 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 do you use that for, Grumpy? What does that do? I know about the other I don't two. Know. I've got that one on here. Uh, I don't think that's. Well, I've not put that one on there now. No, I trust you to ask the question. Jay, uh, Grumpy will help us out. He'll tell us which yeah. one. Right. Uh, it must be an LPS thing because that's what his tank is predominantly. Jay, can't you get a chemistry colleague? <laughs> <laughs> you do know it's a weekend. They won't work. They don't work weekends, teachers generally. Um, I chemistry. Think all work yeah. in balanced. Together, did we, didn't we talk about getting a marine biologist or something? We tried well, we in the, in the chat earlier this week, we was talking about um, Great Barrier Reef, weren't we? Yeah, that and was yeah. a massive the bleaching that's taken place this year. Has been, I don't know if it's the worst ever or, or really bad. And then we was talking about have we reached a point of no return and stuff like that. Yeah, and then we said well, actually it'd be good to do a live stream, but then we need mm. a microbiologist or someone who knows what they're talking about. To really mm. give it some value, because we can talk about yeah. it briefly. What we what we read on reef builders and other stuff, but not with any. Yeah, you want a marine biologist. What's yeah. weird about that the article though? About six months before that, in the Guardian, they were saying that the, the Barrier Reef was the healthiest it's ever been. That was only like six months ago, so it's like you don't know where. But don't the, but don't the newspapers tell you what you want to hear? Yeah, I don't know how you know Kendrick. different areas obviously affected by different problems, yeah. but. But also, they just come through the summer months, haven't they? And so, I suppose yeah, if they come out of right. summer into yeah. autumn, if it's reaching the peak period, then probably they're most stressful. Therefore, they start bailing. Yeah. Read. Possibly. Don't know. <laughs> Don't know. Uh, we'll have to go and have a look, won't we, Tom? Let's go. Let's can't go. wait, mate. Let's go. Uh, well, Let's... you'll you'll get. I'll get you on as a kid, won't I? Let's go from uh, Doncaster, Robin Hood. <laughs> we'll fly from there, shall we? Robin Hood. You'll be like. Uh, you were like uh, Rodney on Only Fools when he gets it groovy gang with his skateboard. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, dear. It'd be uh, good. Traces are super important. There's lots for one minor element. It has a knock-on effect to the bigger elements, the minor yeah, definitely. Elements, holding the bricks together, which comes down to I think, a couple of people said that there's a balance between them. Um, 
and one sends others out of kilter. Yeah, I like that analogy. I like that analogy. Absolutely. Reese Elements does pH in advance. Yeah. Ah, uh -huh. cheers, Jared. Jay giving us the reefers version <laughs> of Harry G trying to say <laughs> <laughs> he has yeah. three letters and he's still got it wrong. <laughs> Jay's driving around Derby in a Renault, a yellow Renault 5 GT Turbo. Hey, those were the days, they were. They were good cars. Uh, they were good cars. <laughs> booyaka, booyaka, Derby is massive. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, west side or east been, side, Jay? I've not always lived in Derby. Uh, brilliant. Right, we're, we're, there's a few more comments, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go on to this cobalt. So cobalt, cobalt is yeah, an es essential yeah. element and is found in reef aquaria only in the form of vitamin B12. It is produced by symbiotic bacteria in the slime secretions of corals, but is also supplied to the aquarium via supply systems and feed. Yeah. Oh, we had a poll, didn't we? I forgot about that. Right, so I'm going to close the poll. We've Quite got 30 votes, so thank you. We've got Triton yeah. at 23%, Reef's Elements at 53 Modern wow. Reef at zero. Clearly, I picked oh. the wrong one there. And yeah. other right. at 23%. Okay. So I've just ended the poll. So thank you very much. Yeah. So Reef's Elements wow. seems to be the most popular one out of 30 right. people, which is not a bad sample size. No. no that's good. That's good. Uh, I'm going to send mine off this week, then. You might convert me. You might convert absolutely. me. Absolutely. Right, okay. If it's, if it's a good if it comes back really positive, I'll convert. So this is one for you, iodine, Jay, because I know you, you dose iodine. iodine, don't you? Yeah, I do, yeah. I so do. the ranges are you've got Triton at 30, which is the lowest, and also they're at the highest, mm. so they're really hedging their bets there. Mm. Yeah. But they're all it's, it's not a massive difference. Well, reef solvents is 95 yeah. to me. Oh, of course, yeah. They're quite high, yeah. haven't they? Because they've got 60, which is the highest lowest range mm. as well so they yeah. obviously believe that having higher iodine yeah. equates to a healthier tank so it's, this is not just for coral it's fish as well isn't it and it's oh um, definitely yeah everything. and it's like your crustaceans everything. and your, your yeah. shrimp and everything it all helps basically it's the whole it helps, ecosystem it isn't it shed. it helps your shrimp shed i only just found that out recently you know yeah. like sometimes they get stressed it's when you're trying makes to it, shed makes it hard, harder Shell yeah, make, yeah, that's it. Yeah. It makes the shell yeah. harder, yeah. Uh, quicker. Yeah. yeah, yeah, which is really good. It's good. It's good stuff. But obviously, um, do, don't overdose it. Yeah, Ooh, absolutely. And then, then you've got copper. So copper is very important for a healthy reef tank, and a few mm. micrograms per liter are normal and desired. However, too high levels can be toxic and lead to deaths in corals and because an inverted rate. And you see that quite often where people have got high levels of copper, but then I've oh, seen yeah. people say we should have zero <laughs> copper. And here you are again. If you like modern reef and also, well, that's what you use in uh, quarantine, isn't it? But the, yeah, it's a fish, yeah, you can't use it. it. Yeah, yeah. That's, that use is, it. it's just copper, isn't it? Uh, yeah. well, you get different types depending on the fish. Not that I, yeah. I've never done quarantine to be fair, but mm. you depend on the fish as different treatments because some are harsher, yeah, and yeah. things like rats are a little bit more delicate. Yeah. Um, and others you can be okay I and mean, tom you probably know far more than i do on qt i only know from the brief amount that i've i've read i haven't researched it at all to set up a, a quarantine mm. to be fair on on that but it's quite a big range in here isn't it modern reef two reeves elements point one that's massive range but mm. again yeah. four companies are saying you should have some of it and try and say none oh yeah and this is mm. what i noticed i've been with trying for years and I mean years in terms of brand loyalty, but um, I just think there's, there's certain there's certain metals that are definitely have added uh, bonuses to in terms of coral coral mm. coloration, mm. you know, zinc, iron, um, yeah, quite a few of them, and chromium. And I just think that yeah, I think <laughs> big big words here, but I think they're missing something here because everybody else is. It's a bit of a, you know, everybody else is saying you need a little bit and these guys say, you know, what, I need mm. a bit. Yeah, it's strange. Uh, do you know where uh, Fauna Marion, I don't know if this is true, and it might sound stupid asking this question now. But I'm going to ask if I want to know. Is Fauna Marion linked to Tropic Marin Salt? No. Mm, no, two different, two different companies. So why don't the salt companies make the ICPs? Because that's what that's what I would like to see. Well, I, thought, I mean, Fauna Marin do have their own, I'm sure they have their own range of salt. Right. 
Um, no, but I use Tropic Marin. So yeah, I'd Tropic like... Marin. I don't think they have an ICP. Yeah, they should do though, shouldn't they? Like because they, they're testing their own salts then, and their own salt water. Which they they, they do because they all bat in batches, don't they? They do the tests for every ton of salt or whatever. They'll do X number of yeah. batches, and then also keep those batches back as well. So if there's any yeah. issues or anything, they can test those batches. But if they did an ICP, because I use that salt brand, I would send it to that ICP company. Mm. Yeah, so you mean uh, from a link? Yeah. Yeah. Um, personally, but um, it doesn't work like that for some reason. I don't know why. Do you think yeah. they give you an honest answer, though, through their soul? Uh, that's a good point, actually. Not thought about it that way. Might give you, mm. yeah. Last thing they, the last thing they want you to be saying is that their soul's crap. Yeah, possibly. Just saying. <laughs> it's no, a no, tough I... one, and you can yeah. you probably couldn't prove it either because there's so many different variables mm. of what goes into your tank. Trying to... yeah. Yeah. down to dodgy batch of salt because there was that issue wasn't there with um there was, yeah. in with turkey yeah yeah and to be fair they did come out with it didn't they 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 were they dealt with it really well so i don't know but from a distance it looked like they they held their hands up and they and everything else but how he felt if you had that sort i don't know yeah but in you that sort for quite a while haven't you Jay? yeah yeah it's the only one i've used to be fair yeah um, yeah, right, let's move on then. We'll go back to some comments. So we've got our friend the manganese at the bottom now. Whoop, yeah. Good stuff. Well, it seems to be good stuff. For uh, soft uh, for LPS corals. Uh, absolutely. It's interesting, isn't it? Because it was only when we had the first love to reef and Laura was talking about manganese. I hadn't really thought about it and said about yeah. you you dose that, you've got yeah. a fighting chance of yeah. your goniaporas. Doing not just surviving, but doing really well. And touch mm, wood, yeah. since I've been using them, mm. and everything else, and, and also I keep slightly higher uh, magnesium as well as that is. But um, I don't know. With SPS, is it as is it is it important? Do you think for SPS? I don't really keep that much SPS, and you don't hear much around SPS and manganese. I don't know. Probably well, has an no, impact. No, Maybe no, no. not to the extent of um, goniapora. Um, and then you've got iron been important as well but again triton is zero on that one i'm, I'm going to flip mm. back in a moment and see how many triton say zero when their peers don't yeah exactly Quite a few for what... a triton. yeah most of the most of the metals are zero for triton aren't they? yeah and then like the next one um oh saying that zinc's and not. then you've got zinc is zero to five yeah but again, it says zinc is, in, is in, an important and central trace element influencing several physiological processes in marine aquariums. It takes part in enzymatic, re regulatory, structural and oxygen processes, making it a necessary trace element. Mm. Also affects the coloration of corals. Ding. Yeah. Yes. Sorry, I missed a I bit. Heard yeah. that. Absolutely. So again, they're the only one. Okay, they go up to five, to be fair, which is the same as everyone else, but all the others have a bottom limit. The other mm. four are saying zero is not good. So yeah, there's exactly. yeah. zero, it'd either be a red, wouldn't it? Or it'd be an amber. Probably be a yeah. red, because zero yeah. is right at that, that end. Whereas in Triton, if it was zero, it might be amber. It'd be green. It could be green. Yeah, it'd be green. Yeah, if, you, if, you, if you're in the rain, you'll be green. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Mm. And I'm so, sure on the last two or three ICPs I've done, my zinc has been zero from memory, from Triton. Mm. Mm. But who doses well, zinc? I've never heard anybody dose zinc, but I'm sure somebody in the chat might. But I've yeah, never heard of it. It'll probably be, it would have been salt, wouldn't it? Would you expect whether it's things yeah. like all for it or that? Whether I mean, I don't know if you have a minor element that you can dose zinc separately. You probably you get zinc in some of your uh, go on in your coral essential stuffs have got metals like your chroma and all the others have got different. Yeah. Oh, that CV <laughs> stuff. That zinc, Not the CV it? stuff. Well, I'm talking about the, the old. Well, I'm talking about the black label stuff that I used to use. I don't know what it's still about. You know, little black ones, little black bottles. No, I don't know no. Never used them. Yeah, yeah. Uh, not, I'm not seeing a mate to be honest. Right. So if we should go through about the zeros. No. So you got one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. Well, and we only pick, 
We've got ten. We only, we only picked a random. We only picked yeah. a random ten, didn't we? Yeah, we picked on one of the ones that we thought that were important, certainly for us when we're looking. So we mm. haven't put silicates in there and other stuff like that and some of the other metals. So there's, I don't know, is there something like 40 elements, maybe more? That it, we didn't want Jay to fall asleep, did we, Paul? So we just well, had we, to keep we, it short, sweet. We did say oh, that. Well, it had to... oh, which one are we on to now? <laughs> Am I joking? I'm enjoying it. Too, right, enjoying okay. It. So, so any other questions on... Jay, anything else you want to look at on the slides? Or have we... Uh, oh, no, I think I've, no, I've seen it now. I'm, I'm, out of all that, I'm most interested in the zinc bit, and that, and uh, and what, and what um, Grumpy was saying about what is it, Maleg, Malen, Malenium, 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 or whatever it's called. Yeah, Mal yeah, Malenium. I know if you if you dose no pulse, gold in gold. The byproduct is that goes up, and if you get too high levels, it can cause problems. I'm sure it's that element that it's a byproduct of no pox. Is that mm. a, uh, grumpy? How do you get that? Is that a reef elements um, product? Hang on, hang on, Jay. Have you got some? He's got a blue bottle somewhere. That's a he fair point. A blue bottle to turn. turn more brown than gold. I'm in, I'm interested. Oh, is it reef elements? Is it? Ah, I'm gonna uh, pick some of that. I'll put reef. I think. There we go. Put a few drops in every now and again. That can't harm, and it kind of. Surely. Well, you probably you yeah. probably you probably need to test first on the ICP to see what your level because if your levels are fine, then you don't need to do it. So I'd send that off, no. and then you need to find out whether there's no point in buying the bottle if you don't need it, Jay. Right. I'll tell you next Friday. That's it'll true. Your, uh, it, it'll make your um, your gunnies uh, like like glitter balls. Well, you might get some as well for me. Your cough oh legs. I'll tell you what, that that's that's sold. I'm going to buy some of that. I'm going to um, I'll do my ICP this week. Man. Get my result, and then I think I'm going to buy some of that when I'm down in AAC. Hopefully, he's got okay. some in stock. So, thank you very much for um, putting that PowerPoint oh, together. Really Tom. That was really, really good. Impressive. Can't wait right. for next week's one. Now I'm going to tune in for that. Now. <laughs> <laughs> no, You're doing it. One. You can do it. <laughs> I'm not doing it. No, you've set the bar now. It's a bit high for me. Oh, uh, shut up! He's only, he's only oh, small. It's not a climbing frame. It aren't. Jungle, jungle <laughs> swing. That was good. That was good. Brilliant. Right. Okay. So, Fauna Marion, you have to have six months of full tests before they start to give you a trend prediction. Uh, right. Okay. Right. Yeah. That's uh, quite a lot. So, you have to send it off every month for six months. Yeah. yeah. Hmm. It's, I, I suppose also, Jay, you know, would you do it on your tank and would you do it on this tank? No, I wouldn't. If I had a 1,400 litre tank, yes, I would do it. Yeah. And yeah. Because it's, as you've said before, you know, you do a 400 litre water change. That ain't yeah. cheap. That's a bit more expensive than an yeah. ICP. Yeah. And also the well, time yeah, and effort I know, I know you go through. And that's just the cost of the salt, let alone your water and all, the, you know, you're doing it every week, all of your, um, uh, what's it called, or your DI resin yeah, and everything yeah. else. Uh, yeah, range that all adds up, doesn't it? And actually, just by yeah. popping it in the post, it's a lot easier, isn't it? Yeah, well, I'm only doing it until the silicates are in range, and then when the silicates are in range, it goes to a ten percent, and then when it's ten percent, it'll be a it'll be a, a monthly ICP. Yeah. But it'll be a monthly ICP every month, whether I've got issues or not. Just because you don't think you've got issues doesn't mean you've got one potentially knocking on the door. Or you know. you do if you're doing yeah. a of marrying and you do, you got the six months. Mm. On that yeah. trend, I mean, you can see, can't you, on the graph? But if they're yeah. saying, well, actually, the result of this, yeah. if it keeps on going in that direction, yeah. you might have a deficit of. Um, it's not just the fact it's gone too high; it's also you got too little. So that's yeah, just and that's what I mean. That's what I said earlier with the salts. If you're using the certain salt, you'll find that based on what you've got in the tank, there'll be a depletion of certain elements. And I think that's what you need to know what they are, and then you can you can combat you can combat that accordingly with 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 dosing stuff. And then, but then you've got to do further ICPs if you're dosing things that you can't test for on a regular basis to see whether or not you've dosed enough or not. Mm -hmm. But normally your ICP tells you what you need to be putting in, to be fair. Yeah. Right, I'm just going to do another poll. Well, then, to be fair, sorry, to be fair to Liam, what a good point he made yesterday was that if you do an ICP with a certain brand, the corrective measures that they advise you, the corrective measures other than a water change for, like, say, a pollutant, mm. the corrective measures are always geared around their products. 
of which their products are different in terms of concentration than mm. other brands. So if you I mean, does that make any sense? So yeah, yeah. If, you know what I mean? If you send a, a, a you know a Reese Elements ICP off, it's going to tell you you need to dose this, that, and that, and the other. But it's going to tell you you need to dose those products from their range because their yeah. concentration matches the ratio of what mm. you need to put into your water. But you might have got half those products already on your shelves. It might be from a different manufacturer. So how does that work? Yeah, it's mm, a fair point. It's a good That's economic a fair... model, really. Yeah, fair place. For, for somebody's bank balance, yeah. Yeah, it's all yeah. set up to make money, isn't That's it? That's what I'm saying. Yeah, right. Um, Got another point with respect to how often do you complete an ICP? Never monthly, two to three months, or three months plus. So I've just put that in. Oh, let's have a look. See, I'm this is a bit. This is a bit. So yours is never then, Jay? Because no, no, give up. I just think, like, in the first year, you're doing it more often for me, first year and a half. And now I'm doing it a lot less because I'm not It's probably not anything. a right or wrong answer, though. It depends on your tank I think and what you want to do. Yeah, it depends on stuff. what you want to achieve, what you can afford and time. Yeah, exactly. yeah all that. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, it's a lot of if stuff. If you've got an SPS dominant right tank, then you probably need to if do you more quit, like if you if you were, Yeah, I know, but if you didn't want some better as much, you could do it every, every month, <laughs> couldn't you? You should, you should test the... Um... I know for sure I couldn't run your tank. I couldn't afford to run that. Jesus Christ. Shut God. up. No, you I'm need not. To. You, get a stum you get a somebody as well. You just open, open doors. Yeah. All year round. I imagine. I think, we should, I think you should uh, do a little thing on that. You should test the spotless as well, Joe. So I know, I know how much mine costs roughly a month to run. Oh, I don't. I've got no idea. I don't want to know. Three tens. I mean, I'd just be interested. There's a big difference, obviously. Do you know what, right? When it came to the electrics being done for this tank, a friend of mine, he's a, a mechanical engineer. Yeah. Uh, well, sorry, electrical engineer, should I say, more relevant. And um, I went through it all with him, and he was absolutely, when I listed everything I was putting on the tank, it was like, no, you're going to need a new ring main. No, 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 no. But when I asked this, when I actually gave him the wattage of every different, because of yeah. how far the hobby has come in terms of the oh, LEDs, really? Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, efficiency. He was, like, mm. he was just like, oh, you'd be fine with that. And I was like, what, she's not going to burn me house now? I was like, no, you'd be fine with that. And I was like, all right. He came and did it all and tested it all. He was like, you'd be fine because there's, it's, you know, it's not like metal allies and, you know, T5s yeah. and everything else like it used to be. So, yeah, it's, uh, I don't think it's as much as you think, Jay. Well, it's not, fortunately. Mm. Like, is that, is that these... disappoint you? Do you want me to? No, fail no, no. Again? Just like I'm just thinking like this. No, no, no. I just I'm, I've been honest. I'm just been honest, mate. I I couldn't afford to run that tank because I'm guessing it must be. Well, I can't. I can't afford to go on 17 holidays a year like you. <laughs> <laughs> That's a fair point. You decide the way you spend your pennies. <laughs> don't you? I spend my I, I spend my I spend my money on my tank. You know. <laughs> that, that's a fair my point, oh, yeah. recently my own machine. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Fair point. Absolutely. Spend your money what and what you enjoy doing. Yeah. yeah. Jay, what I was going to say is you should test the spotless water. Yeah, well, I think you should do it. I no, dare because you. if it comes back, I dare you. perfect. All the haters are going to be like, even hating me even more. It's not. But they are. They're no, going to hate I, you I, even I, more. I, it's, it's, no, it's just a good thing. I can't even say it. I can't even say the phrase anywhere without getting like, I'm surprised I'm still alive, to be fair. I'm surprised someone's <laughs> not got a contract killer out for me or something. Because um because they use spotless water. Uh, should I do right. it? Should I do yeah, you I'll think read. about it. I'm yeah, gonna yeah. get some I'll you haven't it. got you've got you have to get you have to buy another one, Joan. I'll tell, you what, I'll tell you what, I'll do a deal, I'll do a deal. Bring some spotless to love to reef. Yeah, you listening yeah. to me? Yeah, I'm I'll listening, yeah, and, I'll, and, I'll yeah. and I'll do a silica test on it. Right. What oh. like there live, yeah? Yeah, live. Yeah. We'll video it. Right, we'll do that. You can that. help me do the test. We'll do it. I'll do that. I'll, I'll do that. Because we, 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 we've got a separate hole, so we've got where the yeah. speech so actually yeah. they'll be quiet in there. Yeah. yeah. You yeah. You've got to video yourself. You've got to video yourself taking the sample from Spotless, so I know it's not from anywhere else. Matt, yeah. I will. I'll, I'll, I'll trust Label you. Label it, date it, sign it, and it needs to be witnessed. Yeah. I'm not joking. Yeah, fetch it no, down let's, do it. let's do that. That'd be we can have, we can have a, a spotless huddle. Yeah. 
Well, well, we'll, do, we'll, put it, we'll put it through a silicus test. Put it through a silicus test and see what it comes out with. I put, I put one on my win, uh, put one on my Instagram, and this somebody commented like, "Oh, using your window cleaning water again." I see. Never mind. Some people are like, I'm not, I won't even wash my windows with it. It's that crap. I'm oh, like, Fair enough. Well, let's see. Let's see what it comes out with. Do you deal? We're doing it. Yeah, I we're doing it. Yeah. Actually, you're gonna video it. it? Yeah. Right, okay. it yeah. Yeah. Right, there definitely. we go. <laughs> You've got it on so video we'll now, it. so you have to do it. You know what, though, you might be surprised because it's got. Some industrial uh, RODI in there. Doesn't mean it's not messing about. Right. Silly, right we'll so. see. We'll see. I right. hope I'm wrong for your sake. Absolutely. I'm going to end the poll. So we've got never 30%, monthly 20%, two to three months. Oh, I didn't know. I didn't know. And three months plus is 40%. So I've ended the poll there. Right, I've only got five minutes left, and we've got loads of comments to get through. So I just want to whiz from some, some the free. most inconclusive poll ever that was. So here is a good question for all of you. If someone said they had the ICP test results to what you would consider to be the perfect reef, would you want to see the results? <laughs> That'd be interested, obviously. Yeah, I think yeah, I'd, I'd want to see it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I would be I'm very not too sure what the perfect one would look like, but if they said it, I'd want to have a look to see what they think is perfect and what mm. I'd want to yeah, consider yeah. as not perfect, but in the decent range. Mm. Yeah, I think you've just used the word though, Paul. It's range, isn't it? Yes. Mm. Yes. I, 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 when I first started with trying, I was chasing specific numbers and it just got a little bit out, out around. Yeah. Right, got come some comments here. Fallen Marin have their own salt. Tropic Marin do ICP test on their salt. Moxie uh, said, uh, Moxie said, yeah. <laughs> salt. Lord <laughs> Nioxi. Aquaforest ICP. Yeah, yeah, they do. Uh, are those that. copper numbers PPM? Uh, I assume so. No, believe no. so. Let's have a look around. Let's just normally pull it in very quickly. It. Where was the copper one? Uh, it's not on there. Might have to look that one up. Normally PPM, but I think so. Mm. Uh, we'll look look it up. All right. Uh, do we know if any of these elements change in transit? Oh. Mm. Good question. I don't, that's, that's a, a very good, good point. Question. I'd be surprised if none of them did, with the temperature change and the movement or whatever. I don't know. Well, I tell you what, John, we might have someone at Love to Reef who might be able to answer that question. Who's a guest speaker? That is a damn good question. John. So you hold that full and ask the person at Love to Reef. Mm. I know you're going, John, because uh, one of the people on that list might be there presenting. Well, they are present. They are presented. I just need to get some stuff from them, and then I can announce it. But that's mm. a very good question. A damn good question. Uh, been dosing zinc, been low in the last couple of ICPs. Oh, interesting mm. shit. Core essentials do millennium. Millennium. Uh, J don't millennium. blind dose. Fair point. That is very yeah. Get the testing. I, I won't, Stu. I won't. Uh, I'll do the reef one. To, Maybe try and say zero because they sell the detox for removal of metals, maybe. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, they do, don't they? It says you want yeah, black. Yeah. Does it? Yeah. So it's like mm. a carbon, basically. Uh, the, don't know. But it took from that? I've used it a couple of times and it, it's it looks like um like ink in your water mm, from memory. Yeah. It's a bind, it's bind, it binds, yeah, binds. Which is why it's probably nopox and it's a byproduct of nopox because mm -hmm. nopox binds mm -hmm. carbon dosing. Yeah. Uh, not done one for over a year, took that long to get a tank built. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I shouldn't be, no. I shouldn't be laughing. Like, totally, totally almost like Gandalf with his beard waiting for his <laughs> tank blessing. I mean, going by the picture as well, Liam, that ta that shark looks a bit too big for that tank. I don't know, I mean, if he's, just bought, he's just got himself a bamboo, hasn't he? I know yes. he's nuts, that guy. I can't well, wait to meet him. Absolutely. Can't wait. Look at this. There's a comment there. Look how grown up this channel looked with knowledgeable information compared <laughs> to good old multitasking. <laughs> it has, it's really evolved now. It's they've really got, got, they've got a high brow, haven't we? I mean, yeah. You know, 
And I don't know what the deals prefer. I, I like to learn something, but we should, we should just, I also, need to mix it. I also liked I also liked some of the other stuff as well. You know, remember when he Lenny did his background and he like, shades out his background? Remember that? That was a funny one as well. Anyway, uh, you, have be, yeah. you have to be there, you have to be there. There you go, Tom. There's a spotless in Harlow. We can have a spotless off, couldn't we? We could do it. My dad's gonna cost eight quid. Spotless in Harlow, is there? We could do, a so can do both. and a spotless from Derby. The one in Derby is well, I have to queue behind the yeah, window. Because if the one in Harlow it's says it's got silica, so it's bad, you're gonna say, Well, the one in Derby is fine because my time's fine. That's what you're gonna do. Oh, exactly. That, yeah. That's, yeah. that's what you're gonna do. One. Yes, that is true. He's I mean, had that before, to be fair, haven't we? I am always queuing behind window, window cleaners to get the water. But you need a guy in a lab coat, lab jacket. Clipboard, like that guy. That not, guy not, is you. That guy with a, is you. With a with a wig, with a grey wig, and that's oh, not that me. Fantastic, it's it? you. You're right. my tester. What like like Doc off Back to the Future? You're my tester. <laughs> I'll bring you some. How much do you need? Like world? ten mil. Uh, no, we need more because you have to put. You have to do two two vials of ten will mil each. Before before the end of the show, will it? Oh, is it going to go on that long? No, it'll it's do it. We'll do it. We'll do it. You're, you're going to film it. It'll be a great side show. I'll put it on my video, but I'm only putting we'll it as a We'll end. do it as a short. All oh, right, okay. Short and 27 that. minutes. Yeah. Uh, right, okay, we're out of time, so I just want to make sure I go through these comments. PH would definitely change this related to the outside air to the O2. Uh, yeah. Mm. Uh, oh, yeah, Jay can tell. Yes, we do. Yeah, we have to come and we'll come back to Power Cup next week, Jay. Yeah. Yeah, mate. That was that was crazy. I'm sure you can say hi, bro, Paul, after Clam of the Week. That's a very <laughs> fair point. Yeah, I'm glad that's gone, to be fair. What do you mean? We haven't done it today because we've been having a bit of a you know a a bit of yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. I think we do, are tuppence, is, tuppence is settling oh. in well though for everybody that might ask be asking. We have to do tuppence next week. We've got to do a power car. Yeah. I'm, I'm sure we'll get multi Lots to host, crazy. hopefully. I'll give you the update on the ICP as well. I'll tell that. you what, what an action-packed Friday wow. we have next week. Don't want to miss this one. I'll tell you Oof. what. Get... I'm, exhaust I'm exhausted. <laughs> oh, dear. <laughs> oh, right. The weather's I... not good. Otherwise, people won't join in. They'll be outside in the beer. Of course having they a, will. They'll have their big the screens in the telly. They'll, their neighbours will see our mugs on the screen. Yeah. You're working next week, Jay. Of course you're not. every week. I work every week up to May. Huh? Oh, no, I've got May. I've got May bank holiday. Actually. I've got May bank holiday coming up. Put my feet up. Wow. Oh, dear. <laughs> well, I think it's time to depart. Thank you, everyone, right. for joining. Thanks, no. James, for um, yeah. being on the line. Have a good weekend, everybody. Some great yeah. comments. Thank Cheers. you very much. And we'll see you next Thank Friday. You. Stay Thanks, salty. <laughs>